it was Charles and Francis Hunter of blessed memory who said one genuine miracle will be worth a thousand sermons one genuine miracle I believe in miracles I believe in the power of God I believe in the God that heals the God that delivers I believe in the God that restores I believe in the God that can change the stories of men it would be a dangerous thing if there is no possibility for our stories to be changed that means your yesterday will still be your tomorrow but there is a God who can create a divide between yesterday and today and tomorrow like the Red Sea parting listen I want you to know that the power of God is in this place and you must lend your destiny your attention because as surely as the Lord leaves whatever came with you here that was not sent by God we know what God sent to go with you and if there is anything that followed you to this place as surely as the Lord leaves you are only seeing it for the last time you are only seeing it for the last time He said these egyptians that you see today that you shall see them no more forever you shall see them no more forever this embarrassment this shame this reproach this poverty this hardship you shall see it no more forever in the name of jesus christ you are in the presence of the king of kings the lord of lords the all-powerful god as soon as i came down from the vehicle i started sensing i know when one of the graces that god has given me is the ability to not only have anointings but to discern graces and know what it is what kind of workings of the spirit to be found in a place by the kind of grace that flows hallelujah and when i began to sense that anointing i knew for sure that there there listen there will be such such a grace there is a grace that makes for performance performance means what you have heard you will see it is it is the grace listen it is the grace for performance that converts that which is spoken to that which is seen in the name of jesus christ give god a chance to surprise you tonight i'm stretching my hands right now in the name of jesus please bring them out the power of god there are families within that region if you belong to that region and there is anything tying you down this is your moment of release i decree and declare right now i'm telling you there's fire just coming on people i like you to identify them bring them out right now by the power of the holy spirit some of you are standing in for your family members you are not just standing for yourselves you are standing for your family members god is bringing liberty help that woman please in the name of jesus at the count of three that anointing is coming right now one two southwest three take that fire now in the name of jesus take that fire bring it as fast as you can every under the yoke and the bondage of darkness as represented in that region i decree and declare that cause that yoke that enchantment is broken now that enchantment is broken now that enchantment is broken now
there is a cause listen to me i'm seeing a yoke and an embargo that perpetuates poverty over families this is what i'm seeing no matter how hard working no matter how diligent this is not just the southwest thing again i think i should just finish with that because i want to break that yoke now listen pay attention to these prayers they are not just empty speakings it is the holy spirit identifying people's problems all those who are in front here and all those who are the overflows or wherever in the name of jesus every yoke time your family those in front here at the count of three i command those devils to leave one to go go out of their lives now out of their destinies release them release their families in the name of jesus christ release them release their families in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray listen listen it is a dangerous thing to be a victim of the spirit of poverty it is poverty that leads to servitude it is poverty that creates the distraction that interrupts people from giving god their all waking up in the morning sleeping late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he brought you here to end this once and for all listen for some of you your loved ones are sincere people but they didn't have the opportunity to encounter the grace that will set them free they were not lazy it's just that these spirits move from generation to generation can i pray for you this is a very serious prayer father every family inside the overflows outside following online that is under the yoke and the siege kaparata sadi salata parandesh ke barus kati lakapa krate kati lakusia covenants of fathers they went to consult powers to look for wealth and it backfired help them please harato shadegetea covenants of fathers went to meet enchanters to give them the power to make wealth it is only god who can lift and give sustainable blessings right now i decree and declare anyone bring them out any family under the siege of the covenant that leads to hardship I'm seeing fire just coming on people, breaking covenants. Innocent people went to consult with mediums, consult with spirits of the dead, slept in graveyards, all in the search for wealth. I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I decree and declare that covenant is broken now. That covenant is broken now. That curse is lifted now. That covenant is broken now. Wicked spirits that will not allow individuals rise. Wicked spirits that will not allow your glory to be seen even financially. Putting you in a position of perpetual embarrassment. You start a business, it dies. You get a job, they sack you. You step into partnership, you go down. In the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of the aforementioned by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Listen. I've shared with you you have listened to my encounters but let me share this with you for those of you who have not heard it please bring them we'll soon be seated thank you for your patience I told you that many years ago I was praying in my room then and while praying the Lord opened my eyes and suddenly my ceiling shifted and it was no longer the building and then I'm seeing this creature looking at me giant eyes one of the eyes was like a human head two of them and then it looked like something like a dinosaur and then the tail the tail had its own life that means you could detach the tail 
and it will still be alive and i saw it with red eyes looking at me and he said so you want to bring god's people into blessings and i saw that that is the spirit that is responsible for the poverty of territories sitting over the glory of men from the day i saw that thing i knew that there, there is a dimension of poverty that comes with laziness there is a dimension of poverty that comes with lack of value and lack of productivity but hear me there is a dimension of poverty that is spiritual i'm saying it again everyone here trapped under the yoke of that spirit all your loved ones they may not be here some of them have been abroad for years but there is absolutely nothing to show for it some of them have been in several regions walking in choice places but this spirit will not let them build a glorious life in the name that is above all names i command that influence to live now i command that yoke broken now one of the strategies of satan to distract your commitment towards spiritual things is to use economic distraction the moment you are distracted economically you will not have the time to focus on the things of god hallelujah i declare deliverance for these ones by the power that is in the name of jesus christ be delivered right now in the name of jesus christ amen please be seated if you can One of the blessings please look up one of the blessings of miracles and signs and wonders and supernatural manifestations of the hand of god one of the blessings is that it can cause men to know for a shorty that there is a god in heaven that rules over the affairs of men when the miraculous is absent most times that god consciousness is lost over the lives of a people but when they see the mighty manifestation of the hand of god it can reveal to them the might and the power of god then it also reveals to them the states of their hearts it was by the miracle that happened to peter peter was fishing and he did not catch anything and jesus said little children have you any catch he said cast your net to the right side when he caught so much fish he looked at jesus and said depart from me i am a sinner something about that miracle revealed to him the state of his heart hallelujah when the miraculous happens without jesus being at the center of it let me tell you what happens people enjoy the miracles they receive the manifestations of the power of god but most times their attention will just end on the man who was used by god to perform the miracle and they forget about jesus and they never live with a functional relationship with jesus christ i've shared with you my passion and this is our passion in this ministry that in everything and through everything that is done the entire goal is to use it as a means to cause men to believe in that name the name of jesus the one exalted as lord and christ if we lose that then no matter what happens no matter how powerful and how great it is it will be very small as far as impact is concerned from the standpoint of heaven god's measure of impact is the degree to which that activity revealed jesus not just to the degree to which the activity blessed men blessing men is secondary the degree to which whatever activity reveals jesus and glorifies him is how impactful that activity was 
as far as the realm of the spirit is concerned and then of course the degree to which it transformed and blessed people so the miracle service is really no miracle service except and unless it is able to connect people to jesus christ the son of the living god let me show you two scriptures and then i'll begin to minister proper mark chapter 3 we'll start reading from verse 13 mark 3 13 mark chapter 3 from verse 13 the bible says and he goeth up into a mountain the he being jesus and called unto him whom he would and they came unto him verse 14 he says and he ordained 12 to what end number one that they should be with him then and they and that he might send them forth to preach the first assignment is the relationship he didn't just call them to be preachers he called them to be with him to build a functional relationship with him and then they should go forth and preach verse 15 the last verse now it says and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils all because they were with him are we together now desiring the miraculous desiring the manifestation of the power of god in isolation to that desire to know jesus will lead men to catastrophe you will receive the miracles but it will not profit you because the presence of the person that immunes you permanently from that attack and that onslaught of darkness is not there so whatever you receive through the prophetic or through whatever vessel god uses will always be temporary you see when you go to a herbalist a native doctor a spiritist a diviner he's not interested in a relationship with you all he wants you don't even need to know his name except if the spirit asks him to ask you the name otherwise you can just go and say look i'm looking for power to get wealth or power to do this and that and he tells you he will bring the list go and provide this once you provide it he does it he gives you whatever you have to collect and you leave you don't need to know his name he doesn't need to know your name in fact you may not even know where you went to because usually it's wicked people that take others there so it's possible that you don't even know the place you just know that you were driving in thick darkness until you got somewhere so satan is not interested in, re in a relationship he's interested in oppression he does not lead people through relationships he leads people through fear are we together now but when you come to jesus more than just giving you things he wants to build that relationship with you and then on the strength of that relationship he can now release you to first be the number one beneficiary of that relationship through the manifestation of his hand on your life then from the standpoint of that conviction you can now reach others this is how it works when he met moses he was not just interested in sending moses to pharaoh he had that relationship with moses a deeper relationship moses said who shall i tell pharaoh has sent me and he said i am that i am go and tell pharaoh i am had sent you are we together in acts chapter 4 acts chapter 4 we'll start reading from verse 8 acts chapter 4 and verse 8 this was this was peter in defense he was he was defending the miracle that just happened to the man at gate beautiful before the elders and the council he said peter filled with the holy ghost said unto them ye rulers of the people and elders of israel if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man and by what means he is made whole next verse be it known unto you all peter now and to all the people of israel that by the name of jesus christ of nazareth whom ye crucified whom god raised from the dead even by him doth 
this man stand here before you all that means peter was saying the miracle is not the most important thing the miracle is a signpost leading you to the person you crucify so he performs the miracle to remind you that you once crucified him but now he's alive and he can reach out to you next verse he says this is the stone which was set at naught you know you build us and has become the chief of the corner we're reading verse 12. he said neither is there salvation in any other look at how one miracle gives him an opportunity to preach a sound sermon are you seeing that now so that it was not just the miracle the miracle was the basis to now introduce jesus neither is there salvation in any other now if he did not perform the miracle and he said neither is there salvation they would charge him of blasphemy but now his result was standing before him while he would preach so even though they didn't want to agree with him they could not deny what salvation had come to that man neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved 13 it says now when they saw the boldness of peter and john and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men they marveled why they took knowledge of them that they had been with jesus the basis of their exploits they had been with jesus not that they had listened to jesus not that they had received impartation from jesus they had been with jesus the presence and the relationship factor was what was responsible for that marvel every time we are used by god to heal the sick to cast out devils to bring all kinds of mighty manifestations of god's power listen carefully over the lives of people and over territories it is to this end that means if you just stop at celebrating the miracle you rob god of an opportunity to be introduced to men the miracles are the evidences you need to stand before you while you remind the world that there is a name and there is only one who is worthy of their allegiance their loyalty one who has given his life for them your gospel is not complete if all you do is celebrate miracles the miracles are signs a sign points that there is something greater than itself if you want to go say to a babin saloon and you're looking for it and then they tell you there's xyz saloon here the sign leads you there if you stand before the sign and you keep admiring the sign and say what beautiful um, um what beautiful signpost this is wonderful you're not it, it will not profit you it's not the sign that will give you a haircut the sign only directs you is that true it is good to celebrate miracles it is good to celebrate signs and wonders the manifestations of the hand of god but i remind you again i remind you again i remind you again that at the center of it all it's you that i see it's you that i see not joshua selman at the center of it all it's you that i see it's you that i see let me tell you a secret this is one of the reasons why many people respectfully even we men and women of god we do not see the power of god in ever increasing dimension because we are ashamed of getting out of the way to let people see jesus projected through our lives we feel very embarrassed if we have to move out of the way because we feel as though god is cheating or scamming us now is my opportunity to shine i need to stand before that miracle so that i receive an attestation that it was through me it happened but those who love jesus say it's not necessary the most important thing is to verify if jesus will be lifted through that process are you getting it now learn this as a principle 
every time i pray for the miracle service or any other service for that matter believe me my prayer as always is lord walk wonders in the midst of your people but whilst you are doing that as they look at me may they see you i've told you you are not yielded when your presence reminds people of you your presence must remind people of jesus that's how you know you are yielded that means when they look at you strangely the more they see you the more they forget about you and another image is what is built in their hearts so they look at you for five minutes and they nod their head and say jesus you are mighty are we together yes is the reason why there is a lot of confusion as to who performed the miracle because for a long time we kept silencing jesus in the equation and we kept projecting ourselves so now the people know preacher a preacher b preacher c and there's nothing wrong with that except that in magnifying ourselves we shut jesus out of the program so many of the people who were healed when they came back they did not find us and we did not leave jesus with them so they we became their idols because we were supposed to present jesus so that even when we are not there he'll be there with them because he is the friend that stick it closer than a brother are we together yes tonight you have come because the lord brought you here by his spirit to bless you to lift you i believe in the whole counsel of god and when we spend time learning the ways of god like we do week in week out there must be moments in every meeting where we dedicate that time to allow jesus come in the midst of his people to take burdens away to open up doors you will never truly be able to serve god acceptably living a defeated life by satan there must be an evidence to your gospel there must be an evidence to your gospel and so miracle services are designed to give that opportunity that god will step in and help his people and and all of a sudden you see people come to testify the mighty hand of god in a moment in a twinkling of an eye an age-long captivity just like that i've been involved in the miracle ministry for a while and the ministry of signs and wonders and i can tell you sincerely you will think that after many years of seeing these things you should get used to it you know like a professional a, a consultant or you know an architect or someone who has been in the thing for a long time but for every time every time i marvel at the wonder working power of jesus when i see people coming here just because a man spoke when i see people's lives just open like that like a book that was closed and now it's open when i see people receiving these things it it that is a message to me as the preacher the wonder walking god look what he's able to do that from one point you can stand as representing him and you are speaking to nations and territories and the spirit of the living god who is not bounded by time and distance going to the lives of people and correcting all kinds of things and somebody will leave and say i can't find that pain again the pain did not go it was driven you think the pain wants to go no i can't find that captivity again by monday morning someone is ringing your phone where are you i'm here please come what for you just come aha uh -huh. and you get into a place of prepared blessings and you sit down and ask yourself what am i doing here what am i doing here what am i doing here then he reminds you do not lose this opportunity to project jesus when you return back and tell people look what jesus has done usually they will clap for you and say things like you are lucky or your man of god is powerful or where did you go to get the miracle after telling them all those things tell them hold on we are not done if i just stop here with you celebrating the miracle i wasted an opportunity because all of this thing 
is supposed to bring glory to the name of Jesus and you would join them to worship Jesus and say Jesus thank you this has happened so that men will know that you are still in the business of making you are still in the business of lifting you are still in the business of changing and let me tell you what happens God will look at you and say wow because of this that has happened right now someone who was not serious who say so what do I do now and you can give him one message to listen to and heaven is clapping for you you did not waste that miracle you are ready for another one because this your evangelism is effective one open door now three people are coming to Jesus you will leave that office and someone is saying Lord I think I need to be serious with you I'm tired of this kind of thing and he tells you get ready for another one someone is calling you and you come and see him hold a key and say God said I should give you the key to this house house sorry this is my name he said exactly that house please don't embarrass me if you are a scammer I can leave you to go in peace it is yours and you stand before that house and raise a song until everybody is gathered there and they say what are you singing for ah and with our hands lifted up we will worship our king and with our hands lifted up we come before you rejoicing with our hands lifted up to the sky and the world wonders why we just tell them we love in our king oh we just tell them we love in our king look at me if you are a business owner we're about to pray if you are a business owner and someone comes to you and you give him your product and say i'm giving you this product just just for visiting me and in three hours he returns with 10 clients and he said what for and he said I, I, there is something this man presented your product in a way that we need to see who made this will you throw that person away will you allow them kill that person hmm. and then the person says can you give me the privilege and you say how much will i pay you and he said no 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 i don't need payment it's an honor for me to be able to market this five hours later you bring in 50 people there will be a board meeting on your case immediately and say although this guy does not seem like he's employed there is something about his tenacity a whole city comes to know that product and to love that business and the owner because of your influence do you know what will happen they will make you something called a brand ambassador are we together a brand ambassador means that you have you have the level of influence to compel people to pay attention no matter what they invest in you they don't see it as a loss because it's nothing compared to what comes to them on account of your presence so when god tests you with a little anointing a little breakthrough one open door here and there one contract of five hundred thousand, and you don't see, he does not see you again you hear tight you say god forbid <laughs> okay at least bless other people no 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 kingdom advancement nothing you run away and then when it's over you come and say god are you not merciful he says i'm merciful but you are not productive i won't drive you but i will watch you love is not conditional but trust is conditional both the man he gave five talents two talents and one talent he loved all of them but he did not trust all of them can i tell you this i have learned from scripture by the privilege of god's grace through my life i give you a great secret get out of the way and let jesus be seen through your life it is truly the secret of rest in getting out of the way you will find out that everywhere you move to men will move there too because there is something about the efficiency of your witness so all the miracles that happen in this house 
the miracles that have happened and the many more that will be happening shortly may i remind you dear people of god and the nations of the earth that this is not just about joshua selman thank god for the privilege of ministry the privilege of partnership with the holy spirit but i'm drumming it to you again that more than this man standing there is one who is high and lifted up and that for everything you see happen here see it as a message a message if you come to me i can pray for you i can bless you but if you go to him he will give you life everlasting the highest i can show you is compassion but when you go to him he says and i if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw all men to myself this appetite for fame this appetite to want to be the face behind the manifestation of everything i want to be the one listen we will keep punishing ourselves forever and ever and not get anything be lifted high be lifted high oh lord be lifted high for you are holy oh Lord be lifted high everything God does in your life listen to me and everything God does through you must directly project jesus oh you are a kingdom millionaire and you just sit down and say well i, I don't want to be proud but i mean this is no don't just say glory to god carelessly be intentional god means many things which one a young man comes to you and says well i am I'm, I'm looking for a business mentor you are a billionaire help me you don't just sit down and start telling him do this buy and sell no listen young man let me tell you this jesus christ is the alpha and omega of my life before we talk business principles i present to you the one who helped me i don't know how he helped my neighbor but this is the one who helped me the person may not want to take you seriously but your evidence is before you are we together if every politician every businessman every man of god every career person every successful person makes a determination that your life will reveal and project jesus not in a way of some fanatism that downplays others no a sincere declaration of your faith and your conviction that you love him with all your heart and your life is a testament of what he can do believe me if this becomes your disposition sit back and watch with wonder how your life becomes an unending is like it's like a page that opens and never comes to an end one miracle one manifestation of the power of God after another just when you think you have exhausted everything you will see another dimension again this is a simple secret that I'm giving you tonight you will think that because you've heard it once and again you've gotten it the desire of man to replace Christ as far as the spotlight is concerned is unbelievable it will take the Word of God penetrating your mind and bringing you to a point where you see the profitability of projecting Jesus I will give this last example and will pray I can't remember where I gave it I, I'm, I, I'm sure it was here that this bar right here is holding this beautiful this this um, pulpit here the play, the center of focus is not the bar the center of focus is the pulpit here this um are we together now but then this the assignment of this bar is to hold this in place your attention is not on the bar but no matter how you close your eyes provided you look at this bar you must see this too you see it now so while this does not become the ultimate focus 
this is where your eyes is but whatever is lifting it high for you to see must also be featured there this is how we are jesus is the central focus he is the one who should be the object of people's admiration but because of the privilege of standing in partnership with the holy spirit to lift him it is impossible for you to just see him and yet not see the one lifting him john said i may decrease he didn't say that i will vanish no we don't vanish and that decreasing is only relative to how high and mighty he is because no matter how small you are if it's jesus you are lifting you are big his size will magnify you it's all about you jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your faith it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are god and i surrender oh you alone are god and i surrender it's all about you jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your faith it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are god and i surrender oh you alone are god Join me and sing this song one more time. It's all about you. Jesus, and all this is for you. It's for your glory and your fame. It's not about me. I said you should do things my way. You alone I got It's all about you Jesus And all this is for you It's for your glory and your fame It's not about me I said you should do things my way You alone are God And I surrender This is your prayer now Oh, you alone are God And I surrender I surrender that ambition I surrender that ministry I surrender that family Oh, you alone are God and I surrender. This is all about you, Jesus, and all this is for you. Truly, it's for your glory and your faith. It's not about me. As if you should do things my way You alone are God And I surrender I say people Oh, you alone are God And we surrender I say businessman You alone are God And I surrender Listen anything you hand over to god you can guarantee that it will not die hand over your children to him hand over your business that is killing you jesus said my yoke is easy there are people carrying all kinds of luggages that jesus did not give them luggage of ego 
luggage of demonic oppression luggage of ignorance and confusion you alone are God and I surrender this is the miracle service so a real miracle is happening to you as you are listening to me I do not know anyone who gets to a point of total surrender and leaves the presence of God without a miracle no not this God it's all about you listen to what you are saying Jesus hold on don't rush the song for some of you your version of the song is it's all about you my destiny helper for some of you the song is it's all about you government for some of you it's all about you oil and gas it's all about you real estate it's all about you federal government job it's all about you job with un job with um, uh, mention all the places some of you it's all about you ministry church some of you it's all about you preaching apostle prophet my simple assignment before i pray for you is that sincerely from your heart you're going to replace all those idols with only one name those things only find their value when he's lifted above them they are not useless i've taught you all these things these are success systems it is not very difficult for god to exalt and lift and honor a people it is a degree to which he finds himself lifted in you so as i sing that song don't join me listen and pray i'll sing it two or three times and then i'll minister to you the holy spirit is speaking to you don't just you are not listening to it i'm not a musician i'm not singing a special number i'm sending something from the realm of the spirit into your spirit telling you give up that pride jesus is talking to you now let him win that war once and for all over your destiny it's all about you in my life jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your fame it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone at God and I surrender it's all about you Jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your faith it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone at God and I surrender one more time it's all about you Jesus and all this is for you for your glory and your fame it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are God oh with you alone are God and I surrender with you alone at God and I surrender this is true I surrender everything ambitions the quest for success the passion to make it I don't throw it away I only surrender don't bow down if your crown is still on your head the 24 elders remove their crown that's what gives their bowing down value 
don't bow before the king with your crown on your head that lord no matter what you make out of my life and no matter where you take me my assignment is that through your marvelous workings in my life the nations will see you they will see you exalted now i'm going to make an altar call before we start in this kingdom you strike when the iron is hot haven't spoken about jesus even before i begin to pray for the sick it's going to be a very quick one listen to me let me tell you what an altar call is please look up the church we, we need to use every opportunity to educate god's people an altar call is not a funeral service where you have weak and defeated people stroll their way in shame as though they are coming to confess before a cruel deity see an altar call like an award ceremony where you are coming before the one who is the lover of your soul indeed jesus the one who was crucified now exalted as lord and christ is giving you an invitation to hold his hands to become a partaker of his life that together you can now begin to live a meaningful christian experience an altar call seeks to do two things number one to give people an opportunity who have not yet connected in truth who are not yet recipients of the life of god the only way to have life and life eternal is through the son and then number two an altar call gives an opportunity to those who need restoration over their spiritual lives they are saying my life is scattered i do not even know if i'm saved or not so whenever we make an altar call or any man of god anywhere across the globe do not see it as a funeral service where those who come out feel so ashamed they feel they feel stupid they feel church is hypnotizing me i'm just coming out to answer an altar call no jesus is standing and he's saying give me a chance i gave you a will and i will not force you however if you have failed in every area of your life let the first and greatest demonstration of wisdom be to come to he who is the fountain of life himself you came here tonight you are in this auditorium all the overflows outside and our family watching from all across the globe you've heard me preach the song itself is a message and you are saying apostle i need jesus desperately for some of you you are saying for many years i've had preachers preach about this jesus i've laughed i've even clapped for those who came out but i really really need to make it serious with jesus i'm going to make an altar call whether you're inside you're outside those following in your homes i'm going to give you an instruction on what to do but be prepared whether you are watching the rebroadcast later on after now or where it does not matter jesus revealed jesus glorified when that is done we can now celebrate miracles with joy we can now expect him to move this is the protocol the protocol of bringing glory to the name of the lord so i'm going to make this altar call i'll count one to five the holy spirit would have spoken to you through the songs through the miracles initially that happened here and through the entire service if jesus is speaking to you don't be ashamed wherever you are from beginning to the end nothing else matters to the heaven jesus be the center jesus be the center Live your seat and
can come if the Holy Ghost is speaking to you and saying it's time to give up everything and come to him one time a rich man met Jesus and said good master what do I need to do to be saved so sell everything that you have it was a mystery Jesus was not telling the man to become a poor man he's saying enthrone me above everything the man said I have great possessions great possessions and I tell you whether you like it or not someday Jesus is coming and when you stand before him he won't ask you whether you're a businessman he won't ask you how educated you are as important as that is he will not ask you how many sermons you preached or how many crusades you conducted thank you for coming those outside all of the overflows listen to me you came for a miracle service this is a real miracle you should be proud of for the rest of your life yes hallelujah I'm going to lead you to pray this simple prayer this is what the Bible teaches that when we confess his Lordship and we believe that he was raised from the dead that we become recipients of this life it's a new beginning for you this is not some church thing I want you to know that something supernatural is happening to you that you can go back home and tell the people that I'm a changed person something happened to me very definite very exact may I request that you lift your right hand before this one who you have unashamedly come to stand before Jesus Mm. lift your hands before him would you dance with me oh lover of my soul to the song of all songs would you dance sweet me oh lover of my soul to the song of all songs can I tell you listen before I pray with these people do you know why we do not have plenty miracles again because most of those who work in the healing ministry were called healing evangelists that means their focus was revealing jesus it was through the gospel that they saw all the miracles we record today but many of us want miracles for no reason no the supernatural is connected to the gospel if you are not interested in revealing jesus you can be something else other than a communicator of his life and power are we together now you cannot do a discussion that has nothing to do with jesus and expect the kind of miracles you see on a crusade ground no sir the signs are messages they are validating something the great generals both in africa and those we read through history and even in the bible they saw the miracles that they saw because the gospel was at the center mention any great man through history today that you have seen the mighty hand of god in their lives it happened because the miracles were like trays carrying a message that jesus saves that jesus heals is it reinhard bonke is it tl osborne these men who have joined the cloud of witnesses today we love their miracles and we're searching for their anointings without the message that brought them we want power in isolation to the gospel we want power in isolation to the message that saves thank you ladies and gentlemen my brothers and sisters for coming to stand boldly before this Jesus not another one the one who saves the one who heals i'm going to lead you to pray a prayer those here and all our overflows outside 
those following at home just place your hand on your chest and pray this prayer after me let it be from the depth of your heart when you're done praying you can let our people know through the links that you have on our social media platforms that you just gave your life to jesus and there'll be someone to just uh, minister to you there praise the name of the lord say this loud and clear say lord jesus, lord jesus. Tonight, tonight i have heard your word i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that from tonight and forever i belong to you i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name please keep your hands lifted father thank you for this once you have brought them by your spirit to jesus and they have made these declarations by faith and the bible declares that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life i declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven and that from today until forever you become active recipients of the life of god the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over you may you find your place in destiny and live victorious lives in jesus name i pray amen and amen now very quickly thank you so much for making this great decision i want to plead with you just move to my right which is your left there are counselors waving their hands they'll have a minute or two with you very quickly and you'll be back to your seat please be careful with the base uh, the crane so that they don't hurt you let's celebrate them <laughs> koinonia is this the best you can do hallelujah now let me tell you how it will be it will be very very fast three things it is time to cast out devils oh yes it is time for the spirits that sit over the destinies of men that will not allow jesus revealed it is time to wave them goodbye and the holy ghost will force them to wave you back in the name of jesus christ number two it is time for the sick do you know the healing ministry um i i i was discussing with someone and i said we have to trust god for grace to really restore the healing ministry again with all due respect what we call the healing ministry in the body of christ we need to go and think again we have fallen short of that bar by far by far we jump over no no miracle is small but we are praying that god will once again that whatever dishonor and stubbornness made this grace to look as though it's hiding that god will bring it again again to the body of christ manifestations of the healing power of god so we're going to trust the lord you came here with a medical report you came here trusting god and then for some of us we may not have any physical sickness but there are all kinds of challenges some of us direction some of us breakthroughs whatever it is when the presence of jesus we have exalted him and when jesus is exalted something always happens he reaches down to the people to validate every claim that was made about him if we call him a miracle worker then he's reaching down to us as such if we call him a way maker he's reaching down to us as such therefore i want you to expect that everything that is antichrist as written on your request or written on your life it must give way 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready now? Please jump up on your feet. God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. God is, God is a miracle worker. My God is God is He's a glorious God. A glorious. Two more times. God is One more time. God is a miracle. My God is a glorious Please lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to the Lord. That which you desire to see happen in your life now, the time has come. Lift your voice and pray. You are trusting God for that sickness to leave you. Go ahead and talk to Him. You are trusting God for restoration. Go ahead and talk to Him. You are trusting God for rest round about. Go ahead and pray. You are trusting God for speed to break the yoke of delay. Are you praying? Lord, you brought me here to change my story. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. It is true that there are spirits behind the many, many, many tragedies of God's people. And one of the assignments of the anointing is to bring a separation between you and that demonic influence that would not let you go. He says, say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are spirits behind the career failures of people there are spirits behind sicknesses and infirmities that will not let people go free are you ready now i want to pray for you please whether you are an usher or not i want you to help them especially for those under the anointing when i pray for you then we'll minister to the sick and we'll see how God will help us. It will be a very, very quick walk that we're doing. Let your heart be open. Don't be a spectator. At the count of three, we're going to shout the name Jesus. There is a reason why we shout that name. It's not a ritual. We shout it, number one, because God instructed it. Number two, we shout it because we want the nations to know that every miracle and every manifestation of the power of God comes by that one Jesus who is Lord and Christ. Listen. At the third shout, the power of God to deliver will fall like rain upon individuals, whether you are the balcony, whether you are the back, inside, outside, wherever you are. We are going to shout that name three times. This is what God is telling me. So we shout once, we shout the second time, and by the third time every orchestration every legal access some of you may not even know that behind the many problems is one spirit you don't have to deal with the issues one by one when that one spirit goes you will find out that the same spirit causing problems in your marriage is the same one causing problems every other place it's like an octopus many hands but the same spirit are you ready now one shout jesus. jesus the name that is above every other name the name that is above cancer failure the name that is above retrogression and shame and pain are you ready to shout the second
Shout Jesus. Now, and I'd like you to be sensitive. There is an anointing on this shout. This is the name that lifts. For some of you, you are shouting your way to a new level. Some of you, you are shouting your way to victory. Listen, as you shout, the power of God is going to rest right now upon people. Please bring them out very quickly. I announce to every devil, I announce to every principality, every spirit that is not of the Christ, manipulating the destinies of men not allowing god's people to experience liberty this shout is the healer is the shout that brings down the wall of jericho are you ready now shout jesus now i see and declare in the name of jesus christ every spirit bring them out i cause every devil every wicked spirit Go now, in the name of Jesus. Go now, spirits of ancestry, yokes of darkness, tying down the destinies of men. Release them right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them out. We are praying, my God. Evil and wicked dreams seeing yourself in secondary school primary school writing exams that never finish orchestrations of witchcraft everything that represents shame let that fire come upon you now shame and reproach is a spirit shame and reproach i call you by your name and i curse you by the god of heaven shame and reproach Bring them out. Hallelujah. Listen to me. There are people carrying an embargo upon their face of disfavor. This thing they call bad luck. The moment people see you, even if they vow to help you, it's like there is, it's like there is, there is something that is not really you right now the power of god is tearing away everything that makes people do not want to help you i decree and declare upon i'm seeing nine the number nine there are nine people that embargo is about to leave you right now at the count of three one two three let them go now i cause every demon i cause every spirit every spirit of darkness in the name of jesus christ bring them out covering your glory covering the greatness that god has put within your spirit now i want to arrest the spirit of delay the spirit that makes you see your blessing and yet never hold it close to you and yet never hold it i tell you i'm seeing fire coming on so many people right now in the name of jesus that spirit of delay i call you by name and i decree and declare at the count of three release god's people right now one two three be released now be released now for you and for your family be released now let that sword of judgment bring a separation between you and every spirit of delay someone prophesy i'm moving forward i'm making advancement go ahead and prophesy prophesy over your destiny no more retrogression no more retrogression i move forward i make progress by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah hallelujah the lord is opening my eyes in the realm of the spirit 
I'm seeing a padlock on a door. This is what I'm seeing. And this is a prophetic representation of somebody's destiny. You are wondering why everything in your life is failing. Why it's okay some things succeed and some things don't succeed. At least it, it gives you a consolation. But there are people here, everything literally is at a standstill. I'm seeing that padlock in the spirit. As I'm prophesying, the hand of God is coming upon them now. I decree and declare everything that has locked and kapashkati badakosia, locked and caged your destiny inside and outside, everywhere, in the name of Jesus. I declare, let it be open now. Let it be open now. Destiny, hear the word of the Lord. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. We may not have the time to prophesy, but I'm seeing someone, I don't know if it's a demotion that happened to you in your place of work. This thing surprised you, they called you, and it's like you were relieved of the current position, and you were demoted to somewhere lower. Who is that person? I want to speak to you now. Your season of breakthrough has come. If that person is here, quickly just identify so that I pray with you and cause that demonic spirit in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God where do you work madam IT company an IT company in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light and that it shines ever brighter in the kapara skedele kaparundes ketibalakuziata every spirit that will not want you to move forward but that you are up today and down tomorrow I'm using them as a point of contact to prophesy to someone you should never have a better yesterday where you look at your yesterday and rejoice and keep wishing in the name of Jesus for those in front here every power that will not let you rise consistently I curse it now in the name of Jesus I curse it Aparus I curse it now in the name of Jesus that it is from glory to glory hear me there is a pastor you are watching me your concern right now is that there is a strange decline in membership it's not like you did anything wrong or whatever it is but in a strange way you are watching me right now you are in a room you are watching me using your phone and you are wondering it, it ought not to be so you, you are a sincere person this is a demonic thing and a plot against your ministry I want to pray for you the Lord is giving me that instruction you are a man of God father by the mercy of the God of heaven I pray over this your servant in the name that is above all names every time you call a man and you raise that man you send to him the men and the women who will receive from the grace that you have given him for this dear one who is in pain because of a decline and frustration in ministry i decree and declare from tonight let there be a miraculous turnaround in the name of jesus christ for those of you who are in front here i pray for you and i prophesy you have come by this prophecy whatever represents a demotion a going down i cause it now by the god of heaven and i declare may your life begin to change you will go upwards you will go forward only in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus the son of the living god go and prosper in jesus name now very quickly let me pray for the sick i'm sensing a very strong healing anointing now i'm to lay hands on them every part of your body that is a challenge health wise 
please lay your hands on it if you can if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest i want to pray for you in the glory and the power i see miracles signs and wonders in the glory and the power i see miracles here's what i want you to do i'm going to pray for you right now by the power of the holy spirit you came with someone's picture you came with anything as a point of contact i want you to agree with them i know some of them are following right now wherever you are in truth there is no barrier in the realm of the spirit i'm going to pray for you here's what i want you to do already there are many of you that the power of god has touched you in the course of the program and the moment i pray for you this will be very very fast the power of god will come on you and there will be a supernatural miracle i'll give you an opportunity to check yourself and do what you couldn't do whether you're on a wheelchair on a crutch blind deaf whatever the situation is having any health challenge the moment i pray for you and you find out that a miracle has happened when i ask you to come out here very quickly and orderly those who are in all the overflows if it is if they are coming out for testimonies please allow them protocol so we'll have either my left or my right very quickly we'll take a few testimonies the moment we're doing that please prepare by the way if you are yet to write your prayer requests as i begin to pray for the sick or afterwards it will be your opportunity to quickly write down your prayer request because i'm going to be collating every prayer request and right here at this altar we're going to be praying before i prophesy finally on everyone are you ready lay your hands there right now in the name of jesus christ shout a believing amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i command every spirit that is back of any infirmity by the power that raised christ from the dead be free right now i decree and declare over you from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now be healed now growth in the body I command you to disappear now deafness whether partial or complete deafness be healed now every blind eye completely blind or you cannot see properly I declare in the name of Jesus begin to see clearly there's someone the Lord is the Lord always does this I'm seeing like a lump at the left area of your breast the power of God you're going to feel like a warm sensation and that's it the power of God is coming upon you right now bringing you healing in the name of Jesus now hear me every blood condition HIV every blood condition hepatitis every blood condition be healed right now heart conditions in the name of Jesus be healed now severe recurrent migraines severe migraines be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone your left your knee your knee area I don't know like your kneecap there is a, a very serious challenge an excruciating pain yeah right now the power of god is touching you be healed in jesus name joint pain or pains in any part of your body i command that pain to disappear now now anyone who came here with a crutch you're here using an aid 
lift it and begin to walk right now lift it and begin to walk right now by the power of the holy spirit every bone condition be healed inside outside be healed right now there are people who are connecting from hospitals connecting from sick beds in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit be healed right there in the hospital in the name of jesus christ someone the the side the left side of your your neck i don't know what it is you're feeling severe pain this happened to you when you woke up one morning and from that time the pain has been there right now the power of the holy spirit is touching you in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone your molars very excruciating pain be healed now in jesus name there's someone you've been having dreams and in that dream the devil has been telling you cancer cancer by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare that every pain in your body that is making you suspect cancer let the symptoms die now in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone you are watching me from germany you're watching from germany you are on the bed right now your body is shaking and you're wondering what is happening to you is the power of the holy spirit touching you right now where you are i decree and declare let there be perfection by that it will be a sign to you that god is interested in you and your family in the name of jesus christ let there be healing for you now hear me every one of your family members most of you are holding photos of people wherever they are whether they can hear me or you are connecting by faith right now from this place may the power of the holy spirit bring healing to them now in the name of jesus christ there's someone i don't know what it is that is wrong with your head the doctors say you need a surgery i don't know if it's a tumor or something that was discovered there in the name of jesus we cancel that medical report now yes. chest pain severe hotness around the chest i decree and declare be healed now yes. peptic ulcer be healed now yes. pile be healed now yes. joint pains be healed now yes. ss um ss genotype change to aa now there's someone you have not high blood pressure the holy spirit is speaking to me low blood pressure you have low blood pressure in the name of jesus christ let there be a, a miracle for you now the power of god is coming on you right now i just saw light from my hands low blood pressure this is an attack this is something the devil is sending to destroy you because of the call that god has upon your life i decree and declare be healed in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone you have breathing problems in fact it looks as if they choke you physically and want to kill you when you're on your bed you you have to gasp for air you thought it was covid you went for covid test and they said it's not covid in the name of jesus christ be healed from that demonic situation whether i mention your case or not in jesus name the name that is above all names no matter what your situation is in your body for your loved ones i bring you the life and healing of jesus christ right now in the name of jesus receive your healing right now receive your healing right now receive your healing right now there is there is somebody i'm seeing you're a gentleman um something happens to you you forget yourself it's like you forget where you are for a while and then you just come back it's, it's, it's not it's not madness per se but you can be in a place and literally lose consciousness 
as though you are not there you you are not interacting with your environment this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus wherever you are be free from that demonic experience now hallelujah now i'm going to request that you check yourself call your loved ones contact all you have stood in for inside and outside the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you very very quickly i want you to make your way to the front we'll take a few testimonies in the name of jesus christ power and might be unto our god forever and ever Amen. Power and might. Check yourself and make your way to the front. Please check them. Power and might. Be unto the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you celebrating miracles check yourself the moment you find out that there's a miracle for you please make your way very quickly those in the overflows everywhere please allow them come very quickly those online you can register your testimonies will take a few miracles now the more um while we're doing that for sake of time if you are yet to write your prayer request please write it very quickly the ushers are going to be walking around and we'll request that you just submit your prayer request i'm going to be praying on them right now everything you're trusting god for are you celebrating miracles my god celebrate them as they come inside outside the power of god has touched you check yourself do what you couldn't do if you're coming please rush rush quickly let's celebrate them as they come so everyone do well those who are following you can register your your prayer request and then we'll have them collated and almost immediately we'll have them here i'm going to be praying because tonight for sure the egyptians that you see you will see them no more forever hallelujah don't be distracted let's celebrate them as they come hallelujah if you are coming to testify make it fast make it fast are we ready sirs yes sir let's celebrate miracles we honor we honor the workings of jesus in this house and through our lives and every manifestation of the power of god um we we owe the glory to jesus christ but it will be a wonderful thing to hear what jesus has done yes sir praise the lord my name is wild by name last year 2021 i did an eye surgery at the Equa clinic in kano and since uh, last year november the eye have been dripping water, have been paining me as I, I can't see clearly with it. But as the prayer was going on, the water dry, uh, dry up. I can see with it clearly the pain has gone. Completely. Oh, Look at this. Close the one that you can see with very well. You can see clearly now. Four, two, one, five. Come on, give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the same way he's opened your eyes physically may he open your eyes spiritually amen. in the name of jesus amen. your healing remains permanent amen. in jesus name let's amen. celebrate miracles yes please apostle we need to hear this yes please i've been having 13 years of back pain i can't feel it anymore i was free. run do what look at this man i i i don't feel the pain anymore 13 years i've been praying 13 for years to have that kind of pain i can't feel check it yourself anymore. now any pain. No pain it's gone it's gone I, 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 Also, again, my again goodness. we need to hear this. Watch this. Listen, listen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I just called my mom now. 
She has had nerve damage on her back for almost two years now. I just called neck her damage. Nerve, nerve damage. Oh, nerve damage. Spinal cord. Yeah. Yeah. I just called her now and asked her if she could feel anything again. She said she could not feel the pain anymore. Completely. Where is she? She's at home. Where is home? Abu Jayed. Can you imagine? Right from here. And the mom nerve damage and it's gone completely yes. we agree in the name of jesus christ that this healing remains permanent Amen. in jesus name i pray Amen. yes please apostle you gave word of knowledge of people with neck pain there are about five people here this my brother he said he has had it since when he was in primary school now all of them can turn neck their pain. neck neck pain all of them there are five here they can turn their neck with turn your neck let me see I can see everything coming around. Coming around. I can see everything. 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 Miracles. If they could turn their necks, that means everything that has refused to turn around. By the power of the Holy Ghost, it must turn this night. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Apostle, this my brother here, he had an accident last year with a broken arm. He couldn't lift his You hand. had an accident. Accident. Let him talk. What happened to you? I have an accident. I cannot lift my hand up. But now, look at it. You could not. Okay, I see. Can you see it there? Yes. Let them see. Shift. Look at this. What's the hand broke. Lift yes, it up. Sir. Broken hand. Jesus. Jesus. Let the devil see it again. You will never be the same. You've touched this grave. Your life is changed. You will never be the same. Hallelujah. Listen, many of you do not see the power in these miracles. A fractured hand, just like that. My brother, in the name of Jesus, every other thing that needs to come back, if bones could come back, then I decree and declare whatever is fractured in your life that needs to be mended by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that miracle happen to you also. Yes, please. Apostle, you gave one, one of knowledge of people with new challenge. Yes, new challenge. All of them, the pains are gone now. They can walk covenant. Your knee. New. How long, my friend? One is about seven, seven years, eight years. Which, what about couldn't about you, years. hold on, please. What couldn't you do? Uh, it started when I well, what couldn't you do? After playing football most times, my two knees start playing in me, but uh, Run. I noticed after... after Run! After Listen! Time, Don't worry! Run! Jump! Any pain! Any pain! Completely! Go and play your football now! <laughs> Another one! Five years! Five years! Yes, sir! In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the holy spirit yes sir apostle i'm tempted to sit down <laughs> but sir this his sister he just he had her picture up oh your sister yes where is she she's in benin listen miracles are happening to people beyond this place of, from benin yes over over 20 years she can hear with her right over ear. 20 years yes because she I couldn't hear with her right ear. ear when we are kids she cannot hear with the right ear but now i'm on call with her she's telling me that you're on call with her now call, Adam. listening to the oh, call. she's on the phone now yes she with the same ear that she cannot hear with for okay. five, over 20 years 20 years deafness just like that in the name of jesus christ if a deaf ear can open then it means every other thing everything that needs to open up i command it to open up now in the name of jesus my sister, if you can hear, we declare your healing permanent right now. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Sir, 
Okay. This is amazing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I don't Bishop know. Bishop Oedeko said, a wonder is what makes you wonder. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. I don't know how to thank God for this testimony because I have a friend who is like a sister. She just gave birth to quadruplets and for a month now she has been in coma. I just received a call from my sister. That she She's back from coma. Uh. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, hey. Mighty God, you are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. understand the story she was in coma after giving birth to quadruplets and as the world was going that was how life came in the name of Jesus Christ we use you as a point of contact stretch your hands towards her we decree and declare not only will she come into full consciousness may the Lord raise people to stand and help those children those babies will not be without support in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of people with low blood pressure. Ah, two people here now My, they've gone to the medical and they have their results now. They've gone to the medical they've gone to check now. Gone what two times. Let me one hear that lady. She's saying something. Yes, two times. Two. Not once, two times. They confirm. It's normal. He will put his angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. For me, for me. For me, for me. Listen, in the name of Jesus, low blood pressure, gone like that. And this is even one of my people. Can you imagine? In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again normalcy to your pressure in jesus name yes please quickly apostle power of god is breaking out from here to what in, in delta state his brother is sick i mean he couldn't work using crutches let me hear you pray now the brother has dropped the crutches and he's walking my friend where where is he he's in delta state sir. you're sure of this yeah i just called my dad you just called your dad yeah and i asked i told him i wanted to talk to my younger brother okay said, how are you feeling he said um, the leg is pinning him i said so can you try to walk? oh he was he was with crutches yes okay said, can you try to walk around the house without the clutch i went towards the toilet asked him to do it over and over and i asked him how are you feeling he said he's feeling fine and he's feeling he's dropped the crutches yeah look what jesus is doing here in the name that is above all names we pray for your brother in delta let there be perfection for him now let's have another person hold the mic so that we make it fast maybe we have a few minutes you can add one more mic to someone there there are more people here yes sir so apostle these are cases of neck pain and neck pain, pain. yes you too yes sir. how many of you please place your hand there let me pray for you place your my knee oh your knee yes place your hand there at the same time father in the name of jesus we thank you we receive these miracles and in the name of jesus we declare that this remains permanent in the lives of your people in jesus name i pray okay. praise the lord i, I want to thank God i'm seeing a woman this is what i'm seeing in my vision i don't know if he's here or somewhere i'm seeing a woman just stand up whether from a stretcher this is a woman who could not walk if there is someone here like that stand up if it's outside this place maybe following online please stand up right now don't miss your miracle i just saw this yes sir during the declaration i've been having this pain all over my body for days now so i called pastor kenny last week uh monday when i went to hospital because okay at night after program i started feeling excuse the pain at night so i had to go to hospital i called pastor kenny nothing was diagnosed to be the problem 
but during the course of the declaration i felt light in my body what song everything is that what song are you playing body. everything left you know the song he's singing find out david dam or sam or any of you everything left my body and during when the one lady was actually giving testimony that waist pain left her body i felt everything that i've been feeling completely like, check everywhere. yourself everywhere check yourself completely gone just everything is gone in the name of jesus christ the lord will grant you rest round about in jesus name i pray Amen. yes please 20 Very years neck pain gone neck pain 20 years sir this yes sir my name is kingdom i drove to your some, name is kingdom yes i drove to somewhere in kanu i stopped to greet people i came down i was normal okay all what i realized was in kanu yes sir all what i realized i wake up why i was lying down by the roadside at the double express people were not seeing me i didn't know what look at down. this so after waking, when was this of, almost 20 years ago this hour I wake up stand up yes I, I, what happened now I what, what was the result from I, that time i didn't know it was a mystery until after 10 years about 2010 now i started feeling i could not move my neck now i'm a preacher sometimes we're preaching you see me stretching myself i don't know what it is until you make mention of it like 10 years ago i started noticing check your neck now uh, check your neck man of god carry that evidence back to your church and in the name of jesus may it open gates for you in jesus name i pray yes please pain Very in the molar gone come pain. again molar molar pain in the molar. pain in your molar yes. it is gone now and gone forever in the name of jesus goodness we'll see how we can take just two or three are you ready with anyone yes chest congestion you gave the word of knowledge about it say, completely it. gone yes place your hand there my friend in the name of jesus christ let this miracle be permanent for you in jesus name you found the song you know what he's singing yes go ahead sing it for us from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun your name is to be hallowed The setting of the sea, your name is to be hallowed. I from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sea, your name is to be hallowed. Yes, please. 19 years difficulty in breathing. Call. Difficulty in breathing. Yes, sir. For how long? 19 years plus, almost than 20. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Let the devil see you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is remains with you forever. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Um, we'll, we'll just take two, two or so, so that we can. There are so many miracles you can testify next week. But let me just seal the miracle with prayer for sake of time so you prayed for people with pains in their molars so. yes i've been having pains in my molars periodically for years it comes and goes in months yes so this episode started like four days ago even when i was eating before the service started i could not eat at this part but immediately you said pain in the molars i was trying to confirm unfortunately most most foods that are delicious require the cooperation of your molars so how we, look at this kind of cheating yes go ahead for years but now as you, you prophesied pain in the mall has grown in jesus name the pain just ceases no longer go back this night with a revenge mission <laughs> may the lord same bless here. you in the name of jesus same here i have a pain here in my molars. I your molar yes, and it's sir. gone completely completely sir in the name of jesus christ the pain goes and goes forever Amen. in jesus name so apostle he he placed a call from here to his mom Quite to your mom yes yeah, my mom stays at Kota court uh, for about maybe a year now she's been complaining of uh, head um, neck pain 
So I called her this evening. Just see, after let the me prayer. teach you something with the prophetic. The moment you see that there seems to be a grace with a pattern of miracles, discern what God is saying through the miracles. Are you getting the point now? Do you know what joins the head and the body? Are you seeing that now? Remember, there is a relationship between the head and the body. The neck is the connecting point. The head is the seat of authority. The body depends on the neck. The body depends on the head. But it is the union between the head and the neck. Two things here. Number one, it talks about the ministry of the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that connects the body to Christ, who is the head. Are you seeing that now? So the, by that miracle, God is revealing something to you about the necessity of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. You have this is how you discern prophetic things and then number two that is a revelation he's helping you see that what connects from the the central system of a man's body the head where your glory is and your body that neck he's bringing perfection there that is a message already that God is giving you so that you will know that whatever it is that is connecting you to your authority your miracle whether it is destiny help us whether it is whatever god is fixing whatever is the problem are you getting it now so you don't just celebrate miracles and say neck 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 it, miracles are you can discern what god is saying through them are you getting this now yes sir so in the name of jesus your mom's neck now we decree and declare perfection for her in jesus name let's have a last person from so, you sir yes sir, sir. very interesting please minister kenny just before we hear this or maybe okay we yeah, this no 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 step. please go ahead sir daddy you made mention that there was someone in germany who the power of god was touching sitting on their bed yes the media department just sent in a testimony from that person the person contacted the media online and said my name is chisom chioke i am currently sitting on my bed and i truly feel the presence of god here in my room i want to return all the glory to god can you imagine that amazing what god can do right from wherever it is if it is the power of god it can reach everywhere in the name of jesus we pray for you we pray for the gentleman may god perfect what he's doing in your life yes sir for a final one yes praise the lord I sincerely want to appreciate God for the five, past five months. I returned from my dad's burial and I wasn't crossing the gutter. I walked on my own into the gutter and my ankle dislocated. It was fractured. These are villages. We have to trust I, God to, I couldn't to walk. cleanse. So, I'm not saying they are wrong. Don't get me. But there, there's too much. I mean, people should be able to go. The village is not a cause for God's sake. You, you see what she's saying now? Yes, go ahead, my dear so for three months i was being carried about because the leg was this big so the leg was what very big the ankle removed totally. since you came back from the village yes sir so today i actually came in here limping with my ankle spray and everything i've gone out three times to spray my legs because i couldn't and what happened now right now i can move. walk i'm no longer limping walk i am walking sir You can see that this listen this is clearly a demonic thing i pray for you it doesn't matter where you go to the bible says you are blessed in the city and blessed in the country country is a slang for village no matter where you are may the blessing shield you from every attack of darkness and hear me any man who plans anything for you he returns to them a thousand fold Your name is to be hallowed. Adonai. Two more, and then we're done. Yes. There's a call miracle here. Seven years, partial true. Gone. She placed a call to ask the mother now, and then she's very, very. Your fine. mother? Yes, sir. Where, my dear? In Zaria. In the, I spoke to her last week. Her BP was 254 over nine over 190. I'm not sure of the number now. We cost that spirit of death. Amen. That, that's not BP again. That's the spirit of death. 
she had to be chewing gum on a regular so that they, she doesn't bite her tongue anymore. I just called her now. The BP is 154 over 95. And then my, I, 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 I could hear her clearly. I spoke to her. They, they, they spoke to her. They heard her clearly. My dad slumped three times. I had to tell my HOD. It's almost rendered me bankrupt. Your dad slumped three, three times. Three times. Three Listen, times. This is one of the ways that the spirit of poverty works. It disguises itself as sickness until your finances finish. Have you seen that kind of thing? Just when you are celebrating the goodness of God, mysterious sicknesses will come around people you are too close to to ignore. Because if you ignore, people will say you are irresponsible. Until it dries you, then the people will either die or they will be fine by themselves, leaving you bankrupt. Let me prophesy over someone here. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that wants to fight the workings of God's prosperity and abundance over your life, by committing unnecessary resources to things that are demonic in nature i decree and declare that tragedy gets out of your life and space now i decree my dear for your dad and your mom whether they are falling online or just prophetically may the lord bring perfection for them now in jesus name yes please because you gave a word of knowledge of people that have pain in the right side of their stomach okay now he came with another challenge that is urine foams so he's already consulting with a doctor in india to travel but immediately he gave that word of knowledge the pain disappeared and he went to the convenience so he's himself and the urine completely gone, gone healed by the power of god I some years since i took over my dad's uh, um, property to be the one to assist and you, you see this guy you, this is what we're saying again one, it's still the same thing we're one, saying one day i was in my house and i just in the night i was about to sleep i just saw a dark cloud he came around me and for five to six years i have been going to the hospital they, they keep seeing nothing they will tell you that there's nothing but i feel terrible pain it was inconvenience until last year i was praying somebody just gave me your tape this is the first time i'm coming to Cornelia. i came with my wife i know that somebody gave me your tape and i saw you in a dream you lay hand on me lay hand on my side the pain keep now stop you will come up again stop and not. when i was sitting down there i just noticed that the pain has totally ceased and i said ah this is something else. i pressed it because while we were praying there i was feeling it press it down I, everything every gone. pain every pain. gone everything let there be restoration for everything you have lost and anyone contending with what your father left for you may god who is your father judge them hear me let me use this opportunity to pray a strange prayer because there is something happening in this country and in africa we don't pray for parents and loved ones to pass on it's our prayer that they live the fullness of their lives but there is a phenomena that is happening in our nation when parents pass on especially those who are blessed and privileged and they live an estate or whatever you have people just show up from everywhere i cannot tell you the number of issues and cases that i have of someone sometimes they come and push the children away why will you use the the blessing given to children to pay for wasting your youthful days are we together it's a different thing if the child is irresponsible and maybe the uncles or relatives want to manage that to keep the posterity of the father that's different but there are people who have failed with their lives and look forward to the death of other people that god is helping as soon as they die there are families from day one they won't even mourn and allow the, the dead they just come in with all this all this nonsense and they come and meet defenseless families let me pray for you that in the name of jesus if you are a victim of this or anyone under the sound of my voice anyone who will not give you peace may god take them out of the way for you by all means find peace by all means find peace my brother i pray for you in the name of jesus christ you will go back victorious the lord will protect and preserve you 
no arrow that flies by day no noisome pestilence against you will stand we declare you will also not waste what your father gave you say amen, amen. god will grant you the wisdom to perpetuate what he has given you because this is the balance to what i'm saying there are many many respectfully speaking irresponsible young men who want them to give them what somebody labored for for years and left and in two years like the prodigal son they would destroy it with riotous living we keep praying that god will help our young men to be very responsible in the name of jesus christ is the reason why many parents cannot commit anything to the hand of their children whether they are alive or dead nobody will give you anything if you are irresponsible the prodigal son he didn't add anything to what the father gave him destroyed it and all the friends he destroyed with it they left him and they, he was with pigs so this is a word of encouragement for some of you who god has granted the privilege of being around people who are blessed be wise listen to my message the law of seasons please everybody give it as a gift to someone you can get it on koinonia global the law of seasons there will always be seven years of plenty and seven years the lean cows always eat up the fat ones you must know what to do with opportunities nobody who is under this ministry should be an irresponsible person if god bless your father it's not a cause use money and buy liabilities and waste it and then friends will come and waste your time if you are confused about what to do with it write it as your prayer request now and submit it here this is why you came lord direction are we blessed the church of the lord jesus christ is also a place for administering discipline it's not only the gospel people should be wise don't waste any opportunity god gives you when god grants you access to finances access to an estate whatever it is be mindful of people who are not going anywhere don't let them come into your space in the name of friendship and destroy great opportunities go and sell this house go and sell this business and they destroy everything and run away and leave you edit your relationships if you don't know what to do with money keep it in the bank and think go and meet people he said go and meet them that sell let them give you wisdom are we together now yes this will be the last may god bless you my friend in Mama, some reason, okay yeah. let, mommy, let's hear mommy here has had ankle pain for two years she couldn't wear shoe but well, maybe you gave the word of knowledge she put on her shoe and then she can walk Mama, how long two years two years walk now oh dear you can't even see it you couldn't at all you couldn't wear shoes yes, oh you, you couldn't wear shoes yeah, but i used to take the shoe in case i will put it on and remove it but it, when you, you i was thinking it's cancer so when you mentioned you mentioned the case that somebody with pain you are thinking is cancer so immediately i shouted amen it's like i felt cold run through to that place and the pain. in the name of jesus christ it remains permanent for you and all who have come to testify we agree with you in the name of jesus these miracles are permanent in the name of jesus christ and for all who have received miracles across the globe we decree and declare that your miracles are permanent in jesus name please rise very quickly stretch your hands towards me as we pray this is a very deep mystery that is consistent with the word of god please stretch your hands and begin to declare that in the name of jesus whatever i have submitted here if you are yet to submit yours let's make it very fast those online you can stretch your hands connecting to this altar also in the name of jesus christ go ahead and pray your name is to be hallowed adonai in the name of jesus christ we decree and we declare by the power of the holy spirit are you declaring i'm agreeing with you now believe god for a miracle believe god for a manifestation of the things that he has spoken
hallelujah hallelujah listen you have to believe that there is a god in heaven who answers prayers you have to believe this this is not just some religiosity no 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 we've been doing this for many many years and you cannot imagine the testimonies that have come out in my opinion this is the most accurate representation of your desires the bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray that you believe that you have received it and you shall have it this is what the bible says what things soever ye desire hallelujah we're people of prayer and we're people who have been marvelously helped by god i want you to believe in every prophetic declaration i pray over these requests and in the name of jesus for every request here by the power that raised christ from the dead you will see it manifest speedily in your life everything you have written here as a representation of your faith and your expectation i release my faith with you and i pray the same hand that submitted the request let it be the same hand that receives the answers i say it again the same hand that submitted the request may this be the same hand that receives the answers every spirit that is back of any negative condition here represented by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare that those spirits give way now you hear me by the spirit of god every destiny helper who needs to partner with the holy spirit to see that these requests are answered in the name of jesus we engage their ministry for your sake in the mighty name of jesus and as i always do i stand upon these requests the same way i'm standing upon it everything that has risen above you in the name of jesus christ it comes under the feet of jesus whatever has represented shame and re and reproach over your life i'm prophesying to you right now that which was once an issue of shame may god turn it for a testimony in the name of jesus christ the final prophetic word the Lord has been revealing to me very very superior understandings about the administration of the prophetic and I believe that he's allowing this for the sake of his people and then because of the times that we live in by next week we'll continue with our series and then there, there, are, there are a few teachings that God is going to be helping us to see opening our eyes to really understand the realm of the spirit and to understand how things work in this kingdom hallelujah I want to speak over your life within the one or two minutes that I have and I want you to believe it let it be from the depth of your heart I wish I had the opportunity and the privilege to lay hands on everyone inside and outside. There are several thousands of people here on ground and thousands, potentially millions more across the globe. And it's impossible to do that. But there is one spirit who is able to transcend time and distance. And that right where you are, through words, the power of God can come as prophecy and remain on you and insist that your life becomes a capture of everything that was spoken he said blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken i want to pray for you do not commonize the prophetic it is powerful be lifted in the name of jesus be lifted in the name of jesus be lifted in the name of jesus 
from where you are to where you need to be be lifted in the name of Jesus you know I've been talking a lot through this service about shame and reproach let me pray it officially now in the name of Jesus every embargo over your destiny that spells shame that spells reproach by the power that raised Christ from the dead I erase that from your life in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for structural establishment that means the grace that gives you your own space whether land whether a play a structure so that you stop depending on on people unnecessarily i pray for you it's a rare boat the lord has given me my own space i prophesy to you you have the faith to receive it i decree an aparus whatever belongs to you that makes for establishment in this city and in this nation i call upon the god of portions to give you your own portion in the name of jesus christ i prophesy to you that this is the season you will strangely step into prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared blessings listen hear me there are times god gives you the wisdom to plant and then he becomes the life force that helps your crops to grow but there are times that the situation in your life needs bread from heaven directly whether it is for your crop to grow or for bread to come it is still god that makes it happen therefore i declare both for your crops and for bread that attends to your needs of emergency may god respond to you speedily anyone in your family and anyone around you who is yet to encounter jesus may this more stepping into in the name of jesus we activate the ministry of angels to bring them to the cross we activate the ministry of angels to bring them to jesus in the name of jesus christ nothing in this world can satisfy jesus you're the cup that will run dry treasure of my heart and not my soul in my weakness you are merciful redeemer of my past and present wrong Holder of my future days to come And all my days on earth I will away The moment that I see you face to face For nothing in this world can satisfy You're the cup that will run dry. Your presence is ever to me. Your presence is of the living God were gathered tonight to encounter your grace to encounter Jesus we have come to obtain the grace that makes for advancement I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless us in no small way tonight and let the name of Jesus be glorified for in Jesus name 
I pray. God bless you. Please be seated. We rise in this kingdom on the strength of the light that we access. It takes more than a desire to advance to go forward. It takes more than a well intentioned desire. It takes light in this kingdom. It is the light that you access that paves the way for you into a life of exploits and a life of greatness and may that light come over someone tonight in the name of Jesus you know one of the reasons why I love to teach the Word of God is because the Word of God among the many things that it is and it does is that the Word of God defines the boundary of God's commitment to the believer God as mighty as he is cannot be committed to the, to the believer outside of the scope and the provision that the word allows that means if you cannot find it in scripture god is not committed to make it happen in your life it is how he designed this system to work that he has even honored his word above his office and above his reputation so every time the word of god comes it is not one of the many aspects of the service it is a very important aspect of the service because when the word of god comes i may have said it here that the word of god is like a tree if you look at this right here this is holding a cup of water so if you see someone coming to you with a tray you begin to rejoice because the tray carries something on it ultimately you want to enjoy what is on the tray but you cannot enjoy what is on the tray until you can hold the tray is that true so when the word of god is coming to you you have to understand that the word of god is like a spiritual tray it comes with it your lifting your next level new anointing your healing new grace so when you embrace the word you have also demonstrated your commitment to embrace everything that comes with the word and may the lord help us tonight in jesus name i prayed and sought the lord for what to share um I'm, i've always been very intentional but i think i'm growing again to be very intentional about the things that i share number one i only teach the things that i believe and number two I, I truly teach for transformation and for impact at the back of the things that I teach I desire not just for people to see and appreciate the depth of the truth the dexterity of the communication more than that my desire and my drive is to see that every time God gives me an opportunity to bring truth to God's people that it is communicated in a way that they are able to receive it and that it produces results in their lives hallelujah praise the praise the lord so in line with the team i want to teach on what i title the price for new dimensions the price for new dimensions believe me this teaching will bless you for many of us we probably are at the end of certain phases in our lives and we're trusting god for more greater horizons greater dimensions of exploits in ministry in business there are keys that make for these kinds of results and it is important that we access through knowledge the keys that make for new dimensions hallelujah the teaching seeks to supply us the spiritual truths that would help us contend for growth to maintain impact and relevance as far as our destinies are concerned three scriptures and then god would open our eyes to a few things tonight in the name of jesus philippians chapter 3 will start from verse 12 to 14 philippians chapter 3 not as though i had already attained either were already perfect but I follow after 
if that i may apprehend that for which i am apprehended of jesus christ 13 brethren i count not myself to have apprehended he says but this one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto the things which are before 14 i press someone prophesy say i press one more time say i press i press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of god in christ jesus scripture number two first corinthians 8 and verse 2 very interesting challenging and instructive scripture can we read together ready one to read and if any man think that he knoweth anything he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know one more time and if any man think that he knoweth anything he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know hallelujah just like the man of god was sharing i have seen by the privilege of god's grace i have seen people make impact in ministry impact in career in business i have seen people rise mightily so mightily used by god but the surprising thing is as frequent as i have seen people rise i have also seen people fall and i have seen others who did not fall but stop rising i have seen people plateau at dimensions accessing the anointing the prophetic the gifts of the spirit ministry growth finances there are two dangers that the bible warns about number one is retrogression number two is to plateau and to limit yourself at a level there are many people who believe that just because you are not going down it means that is the best of you the bible declares that the path of the just that the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day so so many people are not able to make sustainable advancement and the reason is because many have neglected some of the truths that you'll be learning others may have been ignorant of some or even all of this truth and so conferences like this number one would challenge those who have gone down to show you that there is a road map the bible says rejoice not over me my enemies that though i fall i will rise elevation is still a possibility in this kingdom that no matter how low nobody can get lower than jesus went down to hades yet he came up again and is exalted at the highest position that already is a pattern for us that no matter how low you get there is a power that same power that raised christ from right where he was and took him and elevated him for someone that same power is lifting you from where you are to where you need to be in the name of jesus christ hallelujah and then for those who have plateaued at a level now please listen let me teach you something up front we advance in this kingdom by light and life is in faces and dimensions that means the dimension of light you need to access stage a or a level in your life may not necessarily be the only dimension of light and truth you will need to access another level let me tell you what limitations are limitations are a letter from your future telling you i am there but your current level of knowledge cannot take you there are we together when you face limitations that inhibit your progress see them as letters from your future coming to you to verify that that future you desire is actually there but this current version of you cannot go there so when you start out in life 
the level of knowledge that brings you to level a or stage a spiritually financially ministerially and otherwise you will need more than that to shift to a new season now the challenge is that most people they stop learning and they stop opening up themselves to new superior dimensions of truth and you will find out that even though they may not backslide they plateau at a level and it is dangerous it is dangerous for your yesterday to look better than your today hallelujah are we learning i want to share with us two keys that i've learned as a prize for new dimensions and it's a charge and then we'll pray and i trust that god will grant us grace even if it's in a few minutes to just pray while i was at the office i i heard the man of god just speaking and prophesying and declaring and um for me i think that it will be good to just follow along that line to also speak over our lives when we are done praise the name of the lord one of the ways that the lord helps us to grow and to access light in the kingdom is to personify his thoughts and his intents using men that means it is consistent with god's character that every time god wants to establish a modus operandi that means a pathway to achieving certain things spiritually he will usually find a man and then model that path with that man and keep that man as a reference as his recommendation that every time you want to access that dimension you study that individual for instance every time you want to study on encounters you want to know god you want to press towards the things of god the biblical figure that is recommended is the man jacob jacob is god's idea of the protocol towards an encounter how that he encountered the lord you see that in genesis 28 then in genesis 32 the bible records his failure records the consequences for his failing to discern the lord's presence and then now records an opportunity that god gave him again and how that he wrestled with that man to a point that god named that dimension after jacob he calls himself the god of jacob he said who shall ascend to the hill of the lord and who shall stand in his holy place he that had clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully he says that he will receive a blessing from the lord and righteousness from the god of his salvation then he says this is the generation of them that seek your face O jacob king james says the original translation is oh god of jacob that means we seek your face after the pattern of jacob are we together when you want to study on prevailing prayer the kind of prayer that produces result the individual that personifies that dimension is elijah james chapter 5 when you read from verse 13 it begins by saying that um the fervent is any man afflicted he said let him pray he says let him call upon the elders and then he says the fervent effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much but he does not leave us in the dark he now says elijah that means this is my idea of fervent effectual prayer elijah was a man of like passion just as we are but he accessed certain keys and he prayed that there be no rain for a period of three and a half years and to show you he was not trying he engaged that same principle again again means mastery when you do something again you have gained mastery and the bible says he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully are we learning now there are individuals who are god's idea when god wants to caution you he can use certain individuals for instance remember lord's wife there is a lesson instead of telling you the whole lesson it just tells you take note of this woman if you understudy the woman in that study is the lesson god's idea of what it means to be blessed in the kingdom is personified in the man abraham are we together 
he called an idol worshiper from all of the chaldeans and began to give him instructions from genesis chapter 12. in fact that destiny was supposed to be for his father terror but he could not make it he did not meet the requirements and god would call abraham and now began to tell him that if you follow in keeping with what i'm giving you i will bless you this and that would happen to you in you will all the families be blessed hallelujah by the time you study abraham we get to isaiah chapter 51 from verse 1 and 2 particularly verse 2 it says look unto abraham your father and to sarah that bore you for i called him alone keyword alone I didn't call him with wealth i didn't call him with wisdom i call him alone so find out how wealth came to his life find out how wisdom came to his life he says i called him alone and blessed him and increased him hallelujah are we learning now yes so you see that all through scripture you find individuals who represent the thoughts of god as touching certain areas every time we look at a lesson from a doubter if i ask you who in the bible is your lesson for doubting god you will shout thomas without even if you are not serious spiritually you may shout thomas because for some reason that individual so this is how it is in scripture one of the ways that we study scripture is to look at men who have passed through a process and at the end of their lives they did not just get results they, are, they they became god's idea of that pathway that means in studying them you can learn the pathway that leads to that result and right now we want to study one person in the bible who gives us an idea of the price it takes for a new dimension a price it takes to go forward are you ready Judges chapter 6, we are studying the man called Gideon. Judges chapter 6. For reference, when you start from verse 1, our, our full text is 6 and 7. The Bible says that the children of Israel did what was wrong in the sight of God. And then he handed them over to their enemies for a period of seven years, the Midians now. And they punished them, they tortured them. When you read on, a prophet came and began to speak, cautioning the people of God. Because that is usually God's pattern. That's how he leads men to repentance. We see that pattern consistent, especially in the Old Testament. That every time people forgot about God, he handed them over to their enemies for a period. And in the midst of their pain, he will send a prophet to tell them, this is why this is happening. Now I leave you with an option. Are you ready to repent or remain slaves? And they would come and say, God, we are ready. Then he would send a man to command deliverance for them. They will enjoy the blessings of obedience, then disobey again. Then the cycle repeats itself like that. Are we together? Now let's start from verse 11 for sake of time. The Bible says, There came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak which was in Ophrah that pertained unto Joash and all of that. And his son Gideon threshed wheat by the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. Verse 12. The Bible says, we are reading to 16. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, O my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? And where be all his miracles which our fathers told us? Saying, did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. 14. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent thee? 15. And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and i am the least in my father's house last verse and the lord said unto him surely i will be with thee and thou shalt smite the midianites as one man 
so here we see an encounter a young boy called gideon threshing and hiding um the products that he has from the midianites because they will usually come to bully them and collect everything and an angel appears to him and begins to speak to him about his prophetic destiny it is interesting to know that god never calls you by what you are or what you wear he calls you by your prophetic destiny he's seen a man hiding and he says thou mighty man of valor because it's in his character to call things that be not as though they were are we together now so the young gideon just like jeremiah is now complaining look at the understanding that kept that guy you see one of the reasons why they were slaves was not just that they were weak people there was an understanding that encouraged that slavery and as soon as god ap approached him to talk to him listen to his complaint he said i am the least and then i am from the least family don't come and flatter me with such an elaborate and ambitious agenda that i will go to save the nation of israel from the midianites and God encouraged him and he said well I have a problem our fathers once told us that they advanced they did this they conquered nations they saw miracles why have we not seen this kind of thing and he told him go in this your might you know what he was telling him he said this ability to begin to probe into why the miracles stop is strength for you don't stop thinking don't stop pondering start asking that question because there is a secret in it the might there was his understanding understanding is might <laughs> it was not just an impartation he says go in your might i have seen that you sustain another kind of spirit because most of the people kept being slaves not asking why the miracles stopped they didn't ask why the miracles happened in the first place so he's saying gideon there is something happening to your understanding that is equal to might you are probing into why things that were happening now stopped do you know most people do not have this grace this might of superior understanding even if you do not have result the ability to start vetting why it stopped and why it happened is power are we together so you find out that in january every day was favor and then february it stops and you do not ask a question the first question is why did it happen the second question is why did it stop once upon a time in my life everybody would call me and bless me but now it looks like the same people are still around my vicinity but no one seems to beckon on me in this thy might the courage to ask questions to say our fathers told us i've not forgotten it is still in my memory that a time came in the history of israel they were invincible their enemies will see them and begin to shake because there was a hand that was with them why have we not seen it he was asking the angel and remember it's out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks that means that as he was stretching in that weakness and that limitation his mind was rejecting that level he was asking a question why am i like this can i tell you this i'm sorry to say but respectfully speaking it is one of the reasons why many people in africa don't move forward we don't ask questions why am i like this no favor no grace why is ministry not growing why is my spiritual life not growing can i tell you one of the most superior knowledge that you can have is how to learn what you don't know how to find out and how to learn what you do not know how to ask the questions that bring the right answers most believers accept status quo and give it some superstitious explanation well i'm sure god just wants it to be that way or well i'm sure it's the devil but that in itself is not enough answer are we together i just thought to, this is not even what i'm talking about i just thought to draw a lesson i didn't want to just allow the issue of gideon to pass because many of us here seated looking at me 
you once heard my grandfather was a wealthy man he was a blessed man he was the greatest in the village but now the family is the poorest and no one you have not accessed that might that gideon had to ask questions what did he do that made the results happen what did he stop doing that made the results stop what was i doing that made me so powerful that my spiritual life kept growing from level to level i, I could it was palpable that i was growing the bible said how shall we escape if we neglect carelessness so great is salvation many people who fail do not ask what they are doing or not doing many people who succeed short term don't study their results they only celebrate it can i tell you this celebrating success without thoroughly understanding the dynamics around it you are only implicating yourself for casualty and it is painful to ones was there it is painful to ones rejoice it is painful to ones taste of the grace of god are you learning something tonight so when he said go in your your might most people think oh some impartation had happened the might there is not yet an anointing no the might there is the construct the understanding that courage and fortitude to start probing what took the presence of god away from you gideon what took the presence away from from the nation of israel how could god's covenant people these guys didn't need to lift a finger for jericho to go down now the midianites were oppressing them and gideon had to hide the angel said you've gotten a key don't lose it and god is handing that key over to someone tonight what is the key listen what is the key the courage to probe into why results are happening or why results are not happening whether you are succeeding or failing both of them deserve your study what am i doing that is making my promotion happen every year don't just say thank god promotion is happening no what am i doing can i tell you this when your results come by mastery you do not fear again it is possible that you can activate laws the laws of the kingdom and the laws of the spirit and in truth by luck you can access something that works and then you find out that it does not work again conferences like this bring us to a point of mastery where you can defend your results with your understanding before you graduate a student from a college of education or a university usually there is something called a defense is that true where he comes before a parliament and they try to vet and probe into his understanding so far doesn't matter the topic they are not necessarily just looking at the topic of discussion his acumen his understanding his ability to argue out in defense of the degree or whatever certification he wants to have and on the strength of what he demonstrates they can now say no you are qualified life will ask you what makes you think you will be anointed for 30 years you can enjoy your anointing for two years while it lasts what makes you believe that in the next 10 years you will still be relevant in ministry what gives you the audacity to believe people will still place a demand on your life go in this thy might the ability to probe into why things happen and the ability to probe into why things don't happen you go and read your bible in the earth work of jesus every time people came and asked him questions he respected them read your bible whether it was the woman at the well whether it was john chapter 3 i hope you know it was this probing that better the scripture we use for salvation now for god so loved the world he started as a man's asking a question nicodemus came to jesus by night john 3 and verse 1 he said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these signs and wonders except god be with him and then jesus said now that you've gotten my attention let me begin to talk to you verily verily i say unto you except a man be born again then he asked another question the woman at the well she began to ask the question and he answered because the seed for an answer is a question 
there is no reason why you should have an answer if you are not asking a question for as long as you are not asking why your life is where it is for as long as you are not asking why you are making tremendous impact before you celebrate results be sure you can reproduce it in my opinion one of of all the dominion instructions that were given to man more than being fruitful the most powerful for me is replenish replenish is where true authority and master lies the ability to produce that result again and again and again and again and again are we learning so he comes to gideon and gideon meets him with a question why is my life like this you are giving me a command and you are telling me that i'm going to be a great warrior i will bring down the midianites and command salvation for god's people but why are we like this and the angel said keep asking because you see there is a law and when jesus came he opened us up to that law the law is found in matthew chapter 7 from verse 8 for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone not preachers everyone that asketh receiveth he that seeketh findeth and to him that knocketh lord why is favor not working in my life proverbs 18 verse 1 through desire a man having separated himself the bible says he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom most people would be out of their problems if only they understood this mysterious secret in the kingdom to ask why things are not working why are doors closing for me why do i come to church and the same prophetic word comes on everybody but some re come back with testimonies and others sit down and say the word is not working why i ask a lot of questions i ask god i ask men dead and alive because in that ability to inquire you will find secrets secrets that make for your continuity secrets that guarantee your stability according to isaiah 33 it is wisdom and knowledge that becomes stabilizers of a man's time and his destiny is someone learning already you are going to pray right now over yourself for the grace to ask questions and continue to ask those questions until answers come go ahead and pray in one minute why am i not walking in the dimension of the anointing that i desire why is ministry not growing why is my finances going down what happened in january that brought me favor and now in march the favor seems to have ended and for those of you who are doing well what am i doing by god and by grace that is producing the results that i now enjoy can i reproduce it can i bring others into that experience hallelujah hallelujah understand the preceding scriptures that we started with he said i do not claim to have apprehended yet philippians chapter 3 from verse 12 how could paul say that do you know the level of paul's understanding when you read ephesians chapter 3 beginning from verse 3 paul makes the defense of his spiritual intelligence he says listen i didn't just learn this thing i was initiated Ephesians 3.3 3. I was called into a fellowship of the mystery It's like an initiation into a body of truth How that by revelation He made known unto me the mystery As I written in few words Verse 4 He said so that when ye read 
ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ that means don't be surprised at the level the depth of my spiritual communication i was drawn in by grace into a fellowship it's like an initiation into a body of understanding and yet that's the same man who is saying i do not claim to have known anything ah. he said this one thing i do i forget the things that are behind he never said i forget the failures that are behind failure is not the only thing you need to forget we're getting there but now let me let me just run quickly because i want us to pray let's study the life of gideon and learn a lesson or two that will help us tonight and god will grant us grace are you ready to learn now judges 7 verse 1 someone's life is changing in the name of jesus then jerubal who is gideon and all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched now let me explain the context for you when god was done working with gideon he sustained the courage and the bible says he blasted a shofar when gideon blasted a shofar 33 000 people came are we together now that was the man who was once weak and mediocre now he had the courage to call that shofar and 33 000 people came and the bible says that all those people came and met him by the valley verse 2 verse 2 very quickly and the lord said unto gideon the people that are with thee are too many for me to give the midianites into their hands why lest israel vounce themselves against me saying my own hand had saved me now follow very carefully there are two principal tests and they also represent the price you must pay if you want to make progress test number one this was the test that was going to reduce the people let's find out what qualified the 300 out of 33,000. what happened that 300 were left and they were the only ones who went and conquered are you ready test number one verse three now therefore go to proclaiming the ears of the people saying whoever is fearful and afraid let him return and depart early from mount gilead and there return how many people <laughs> my goodness and my god believers are, are we are we students of scripture that out of thirty three thousand people who came twenty two thousand were in fear and he said listen don't frustrate our journey so we give you a chance now if you don't believe in your destiny enough if you are not convinced that is worth giving your all i give you a chance go back ladies and gentlemen how many went back twenty and two thousand and there remain the stand that he told you when you had that shofar he said blow the trumpet in zion i know that you have come out but just because you showed up to honor that sound does not mean you will get there test number one is the test of courage it takes courage hear me the first price it takes to be a trailblazer to be consistent to weary limitations till you win is the price of courage courage is derived from conviction listen carefully courage is not outsourced it is generated one more time courage is not outsourced it is generated generated from a conviction god is speaking to someone already the lord said unto gideon the people are too many please go to verse 3 let's just stay at verse 3 god is speaking to someone now your family members they seem too many who will rise from there and break i know you come from a crown of five thousand people and just because a family meeting was held don't make a mistake of believing that everybody who came there intends to get to the other side 
test number one who is he that will not be fearful who is he that will not be afraid he said whosoever is fearful and afraid let him return and return early don't waste our time and the bible says 22,000 people for god's sake they said gideon we are returning remember the dream god showed you i'm still returning remember you've come too far you left your house and I'm, I'm still returning can i tell you many have returned in ministry many have returned in business many have returned over their health many have returned i'm here to encourage someone pass this test if it is hold on hold on hold on before i pray for you you have to know that there are tests you must go through you may not like what i'm teaching you but if it's advancement you intend to have there is a test behind every genuine result you see is a testament of endurance and courage make no mistake to think the anointing just came and moved people uh -uh. before the anointing came you know the audacity it takes to position yourself to defy the crowd defy opinions we live in a world that does not respect the sacrifices of people the stamina and the staying power the man of god is just lucky the businessman i think he was just lucky do you know the pain and the tears nobody wins the olympic by mistake no you can get to the field by mistake please listen carefully because god is speaking to you the test of courage deuteronomy chapter 20 let's hurry up someone's life must change this night the first four verses deuteronomy 20 when thou goest out to battle against thine enemies and seest horses and chariots and a people more than thou he says be not afraid of them for the lord thy god is with thee hold on you would think that that god would take away the chariots he says i'm with you but you will still see chariots you will still see horses you will still see people more than you oh david when you see the size of goliath don't be afraid remember the one that is with you forget about the size of the adversary oh someone is ready to shake the devil will make you focus on the egyptians focus on chariots as though god were not with you he said wait hold on hold on look up please please settle down look at me the only way to see horses and chariots is when you go out to battle not when you stay in the courage to even go out is why you will see adversaries can i tell you there are people who it looks like they don't have challenges it's not that the devil is not attacking them is that they themselves have not even taken the first step of courage to their destiny they are how did you know there are altars fighting you is it not when you made a commitment that i will be different the altars had you they said we stopped your father we stopped your grandmother who is this man who is rising like a reed taken out of fire when you go out to battle it is not unusual to find forces that are greater than you no that sickness in your body those bills you stand and you make up your mind that everybody lived in a rented apartment forever but in the name of jesus i will build and you ask how much can i buy a house and they tell you 30 million and you check your account and see that you have four thousand you laugh at yourself feeling like a fool remember the jealousy of god is standing by you to defend you please sit down and it shall be when ye are come nigh unto the battle he said the priest shall approach and speak to the people we are reading to fall and shall say unto them 
hear O covenant people ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies let not your hearts faint fear not and do not tremble neither be ye terrified of them why verse 4 for the lord your god is he that goeth before you to fight for you against your enemies and save you can i tell you ask any man of god that you respect ask your man of god coming here look look let me tell you the stories of men are the exploits of courage in the midst of pain there are people today they were told they would not survive certain things they refused that i would not die they saw death again and again i have a choice but i've made up my mind no way there are people who refuse when one door closes they don't have time morning they force another one to open listen we live in a world where people find pleasure justifying mediocrity and they sit down there and use very justifiable reasons to remain there they destroyed our house in 2007 that's why i don't have a house till now it looks like an obvious answer but it's not the right one please listen carefully god is speaking to us test number one is the test of courage someone shout and say in the name of jesus i conquer fear the fear of opinions the fear of failure the fear of the past the fear of the future turn it into prayer right now turn it into prayer right now in the name of jesus i conquer fear i conquer fear fear over my tomorrow fear over my destiny the lord is with me standing by me like a mighty terrible one in the name of jesus in the name of jesus deuteronomy 31 let's hurry up please sit down someone's spirit is firing up this night deuteronomy 31 from verse 6 to 8 listen by the time i'm done teaching you believe me a grace will come on your life this night you will walk out of this place knowing that you encountered the grace of god in reality be strong and of a good courage fear not nor be afraid of them for the lord thy god he it is that god goeth with you he will not fail thee nor forsake thee verse 7 we are reading to 8 and moses called out joshua and said unto him in the sight of all israel be strong and of good courage for thou must go with these people unto the land which the lord has sworn unto their fathers to give them and thou shalt cause them to inherit it verse 8 and the lord he it is that goeth before you he will be with you and he will not fail thee neither forsake thee fear not neither be dismayed please look up whenever god speaks to you about your future god does not talk to men like he's talking to men god talks to men like he's talking to himself hmm. one of the ways you will know is god speaking is because when god gives you a destiny instruction he will even start by saying fear not because the size of what he will tell you there is no logic and no you will feel stupid for believing in him there are many times you will regret training your ears to hear god because the excuse you would have used now you can't say it's not him that spoke to you that god speaks to you and tells you in your lifetime i will use you to build a house for all your 13 brothers and he said god don't flatter me just tell me i will succeed i will pay my school fees as at the time god is speaking you are hoping you are still 20 percent gathering the money for your rent 
I told you that God does not speak sympathizing with your current situation. He speaks as touching your destiny. When he finds you hiding, he does not say, Oh, thou hiding one. He says, Oh, thou man of valor. The same way God is seeing someone who is weak and saying, Oh, thou prophet, do you not know? That, that grace and that unction of the prophetic is on you and you are saying god don't flatter me the prophetic nobody everybody was an idol worship by my family the test of courage whoever is fearful go back Twenty-two thousand people sir went back let's continue judges 6 and Judges 7 now verse 4 are you ready so the first test is the test of courage maybe I should add two or three, two scriptures just to buttress on the issue of courage second Timothy 1 and verse 7 very popular scripture second timothy 1 and verse 7 before we look at the second test for god had not given joshua selman the spirit of fear that means fear is a gift look up look at me <sighs> that when you find fear at work in you you received it anything given can be rejected is that true the bible said god has not given that means someone else gave it god has not given us the spirit of fear look how powerful fear is it takes three spiritual forces to dislodge fear power love and a sound mind don't downplay fear fear is the spirit that foreruns every other spirit every other spirit stands waiting for fear to open a door no spirit will enter a door that fear has not opened did you hear what i said every spirit is at the mercy of fear they wait patiently for fear to open that door then every other spirit can come god has not given us the spirit of fear let me tell you your destiny will require courage you will stand face to face before mountains will stand face to face before some of you life-threatening issues maybe some of you are already even standing in front of those things who are down mountain you should say before Zerubbabel when that beast was roaring six fingers and six toes even the veterans of war in Israel became afraid and a young teenager who came to serve his brother's food he heard the voice of that beast and he went and stood there and he said what is happening who is this they said Goliath Goliath and he looked at him he said please give me a chance to do something to this man he went to Saul the brothers drove him and said go back before he kills you for nothing and he went to King Saul and Saul said from what tribe I want to know the covenant that backs you that's all i need to know when he stood before him with a sling goliath said am i a dog i will kill you but respect me you must be such a stupid boy you come to me with a sling look at your warriors you've been you've been a shepherd with sheep your veterans are afraid and when he was done talking you would think that david would kneel down and say i'm sorry i'm just a teenager david said let me even tell you how you will die this link will bring you down your very sword is what i will use to remove your head ah goodness courage can i tell you this some of you after this conference you may not have money to buy sharp sand but go and stand where that land is hear me you may not have a ministry now and nobody is placing a demand on you but go to the bush where your audience is stand there and hold a stick and begin to preach like i did many years ago 
and decree and declare by the spirit sense the anointing there train your gifts in the bush train your anointing right there because sooner or later the one who is a way maker will make the way for you can i tell you this fear puts men in bondage hebrews 2 15 i believe and to deliver them who through the fear of death 2 15 hebrews where all their lifetime that means fear can capture a man's lifetime do you know what a lifetime is from when you were born till when you die fear can literally possess a man's lifetime not just moments in your destiny a whole lifetime courageous people are those who win in our world today those who are overly conscious of what people say i made a statement who liked it who commended it you, you are ready for failure forever there are times you will have to stand alone can i tell you something you see the ways of god does not always show the wisdom behind it immediately there are times that you will look foolish for 10 years is the 11th year that will show you were wise for 11 years but the courage to stay when noah was shouting and saying rain is coming hear me rain is coming for 120 years he was shouting they laughed at him he said i'm giving you a chance all the animals were wise they didn't argue as soon as they got the call in peace seven by seven two by two the animals who could run faster than men who could climb trees who were even more technical they quietly came and all the men who were helpless they stood there arguing it was god who closed the door and the bible says the rain was structured such that heaven gave its own rain and gave its own rain what whoever it meets in the middle and that was where it killed everybody can i tell you this most of us in our world will never be great because of the fear of being alone there are people who will leave god a thousand times to gain friends there are people who abort their destiny a thousand times because of acceptance our our generation has such an obsession for acceptance don't get me wrong acceptance is one of the psychological indices that make for fulfillment i understand but let me tell you sincerely if it is destiny there are many times is at the end that the vision speaks but you don't start building at the end you start building alone foolishly sometimes and as your wisdom unfolds god now honors you once upon a time in this lagos there were people who were tying water is that true water like what you call pure water today they were tying it in a leather you still remember and someone looked and said no water is an essential we can package this in in a in a more intelligent way do you know the risk it took what if they failed question did they fail the man who builds a hotel with 130 rooms question who signed that i will come and sleep in your hotel the pastor who buys a land and builds a church did anybody sign a covenant with him that i'll guarantee you midweek i'm there church service i am there somebody say courage, courage. my dear worshipers when you write your songs does anybody give you any guarantee that i will come and sing everything you are celebrating today is the other side of courage the other side of courage the other side of courage seven up you know seven up that you take i'm sure you know how the name seven up came seven up just means six down seven up the man failed six times woefully he named that product after his results today you drink it but behind what you are drinking is the pain of a man look at me i always wondered why god through the prophet would tell naaman to go and bath seven times 
God, you are mighty. What is seven? I later found out that is there is something about the law of process that was taught in that miracle. Do you know that after Naaman took his bath six times, you thought there would be evidence of cure to encourage him? He was still as dirty and scaly and as tattered as that. Five minutes to your miracle, it will still not look like it. This is the thing about God that you have to understand. <laughs> Can I tell you this? Go and ask Elijah. He prayed and said, check for me. Nothing. Prayed and said, check for me. Nothing. Seven times. Even the sixth time, nothing. The same way you are seated today. You don't know it's tomorrow that prophecy has written. That you will be smiling as it is right now. Nothing is in your life. Ah. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. The prophet said, by this time, you thought a cloud would suddenly start moving and the nation of Israel said wow a cloud is forming after the prophet spoke I'm sure even him he went back and said God I've spoken don't let these people kill me a woman that can eat her child is it a prophet she will not eat by the next day everybody woke up where is that stupid prophet playing with our intelligence in the name of the Lord you said today this is that day they forgot it was God that made the day four lepers why sit we here and die let's go and die in the place where there is plenty there's a lesson there it's better to die in a place of supply than to run away out of fear the, the guys were wise they said anyway we are going to die so it's wiser and cheaper and when they took that step of faith the lord amplified them and it was like the sound of chariots and they said ah samaria has now gathered allies to come and fight us when they got there all they saw was supplies can i tell you this someone by this teaching you are receiving the courage to do something that four years ago you wrote it god told you start you've been afraid and sitting there go and register the company oh god you know the way nigeria is now i'm waiting until my uncle he said he's contesting for election woe to him who puts his strength in a man if god gives you the marching order sustain the courage and the grace to go can i tell you sometimes you will fail obeying god oh i wish you would not there are times you will fail obeying God when you fail obeying God allow the one who takes the glory to also take the shame you've always heard me say this if you are the one taking the shame you have been taking the glory too it's a deal whoever takes when you say God take everything you mean take both the glory and the shame if on account of my hearing you this shame comes upon me take responsibility for my obedience please sit down let me give us the last test <laughs> the price for new dimensions price number one is the price of courage on bending resoluteness that is not outsourced but generated Lord I know you have spoken to me that from this family where no one has risen that you are going to lift me and the nations will celebrate your workings upon my life I believe what is the next step start moving to where keep moving do you believe I am God keep moving to where to lagos lord i'm in lagos what is the next step trust me what kind of answer is that and all your classmates call you and say oh is it your picture i saw in nmpc you say for where i'm still here i'm in lagos 
and they said but you too you know some of you sometimes you can be very stupid and you just stand and say lord everybody may seem to have moved forward maybe that's someone's testimony now god just locked you up and all you are doing is praying and fasting praying and fasting studying scripture praying and fasting reading books praying and fasting praying and fasting and then learning materials you know so much but the platform to put it to work is not there god is doing something with you let me warn you if god says wait wait every time you rush seasons you will always give birth to the ishmael that will fight isaac god is a god of speed but god does not rush two days to your breakthrough satan can bring an offer in one day that can make you birth ishmael and forever you will have to live with that battle part of the way we gain speed is by waiting it's a mystery that when we wait we truly run is someone learning obtain courage do not fear refuse fear when angels appear they tell men fear not it is for a reason test number two judges seven four hmm. are you ready for the second test now this one in fact if you did not get anything i shared here please don't forget this this is a life-changing secret that i want to share with you now you will thank your man of god for the rest of your life if you get what i'm showing you now and the lord said unto gideon the people are yet too many the first test reduced them but there are still ten thousand others he said bring them onto the water and i will try them for you there listen carefully and it shall be that of whom i say to you this is the one who goes with you from that test then he shall go with you what is the test verse 5 please give us verse 5 so he brought the people onto the water are you ready now and the lord said to gideon they are going to approach their interaction with this water in two ways study them and use their encounter with this water to filter them everyone that lapped on the water with his tongue as a dog lapped him shall thou set by himself likewise everyone that bowed down upon his knees to drink look up let me teach you a mystery here do you know what this means don't forget that when he called them they came out of their homes they had started walking some of them returned that means everybody had left home their energy had been spent are you getting the point now now he brought them to the place of send your word oh god let it heal let it deliver let it transform in the name of Jesus I pray amen I came here tonight by the kind invite of your dear pastor and in partnership with his passion to see God move across the globe I came to extend a hunger and a burden in this place tonight we are in the days of his power we are in the days of the mighty hand of god but sadly speaking the frustration that is in the heart of the average believer as to why their christian experience does not seem to produce results you see there are many believers who have done well in loving God but the imminent frustration that stands before them as far 
as producing results that become consolations to their Christian experience is concerned, many believers are already brewing frustrations. You see what is happening all around from ritual killings to people falling into propositions of darkness. They are proof that there is a gradual frustration rising. I, I, I can be sure that if we talk to your pastor, he will tell you how that many Christians send text messages every day asking the question, why? Why is this thing not working? They would say, I have prayed. They would say, I fasted. They would say, I studied. They would say, I kept myself. They would say all kinds of things. Why does it look like God lied? Here and there, they see a few people, a few ministries, a few territories distinguish themselves in power and in grace. But corporately speaking, there is a gradual cry rising from preachers, rising from businessmen, rising from individuals, rising from career people, that the more they study scripture, the more they seem to get angry. Because it looks like the Bible is a compendium of a scam. And if we do not rise by the privilege of God's grace to show the body of Christ the way by the Spirit, I assure you that soon our churches will be full of idol worshippers. Not idol worshippers who are coming to Jesus to be saved. But idol worshippers who have been frustrated because it looks like Jesus does not work. But not in our lifetime. In the name of Jesus Christ. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun. Your name is to be hallowed. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, your name is to be hallowed. I From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun. tonight trusting that you will pour upon us something from heaven we have come oh God as a people who are desperate for more desperate for encounters that produce results that work we have come to bring before you from our alabaxa boxes not just our value but our frustrations we put them in that box we put our confusions and we break them at your feet trusting oh god that we will not return the way we came therefore let the spirit of revelation be poured upon us tonight in the name of jesus christ stir up a fire from within our spirits and let jesus be glorified in jesus name i pray please be seated and let me plead with you i wanted to pay rapt attention 
to what you are about to hear within the few minutes I'm sharing the passion of your man of God to open this to us when I prayed for this meeting the Lord put this in my heart and I know that I'm speaking to the body of Christ and speaking to a global audience wherever you are from whatever nation I want you to pay attention it takes light listen listen there is nothing that empowers like light high level spiritual illumination it says God made many lights but he made two great lights one great light to rule in the day and the other to rule in the night are we together nothing empowers like light let me start by telling you this that God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent it is within his power to birth glory out of the saints the Bible is full it is a compendium of the possibilities of God scattered from generation to generation in fact John chapter 20 when you read the last verse here's what it says it says many miracles did Jesus in the presence of his disciples which were not recorded in this book he said but these were recorded that means there were many more only God knows what more Jesus did that was not recorded in this book he said but this was recorded that we might believe in Jesus not that we might just look at it and that in believing we might have life through his name are we together we must understand that this faith experience that we have come into is not just a religious experience purported by a founder called Jesus it's not one of the over 4,000 religions and growing that we have across the globe We have been called into a life of infinite possibilities only limited by the power of the one who called us are we together yes but the reason why believers may never come into this experience of the power of god unassisted is because the structure listen carefully the structure and the administration of the life of God demands that knowledge precedes results. The very structure of the build-up of this kingdom demands that knowledge must forerun results. Results will never forerun knowledge in this kingdom. That means the moment you encounter Christ in that experience of the new birth, the very next assignment is that through the coordinated ministry of the Word of God and the Holy Spirit, you are led through a phase of transformation, renewal, and empowerment, even by the Spirit. This is the hardest and the longest journey for the believer because in that process of transformation, you begin by a reorientation of your understanding. Are we together now the bible says in romans chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2 i beseech thee brethren he says by the mercies of god that ye offer your bodies unto god holy and acceptable he calls it your reasonable act of service verse 2 says and do not be conformed to this world is the greek word aeon the thinking pattern that is associated with this system he says but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind are we together now yes acts chapter 20 i think is verse 32 it says and now brethren i commend you to god it's a handover service i commend you to god and to the word of his grace he said it is able to number one build you up it doesn't give you anything yet it builds you up then he says it 
gives you an inheritance among them that are sanctified why do you have to be built up because an heir for as long as he's a child he says he differed not from a slave even though he be lord of all it takes knowledge ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 it says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their minds are we together the bible challenges believers to pursue knowledge pursue knowledge colossians chapter 1 and verse 9 paul was praying over the church in Colossae, and he prayed that they would sustain three dimensions of knowledge he says i pray for you and desire that you might be filled with number one the knowledge of his will number two all wisdom because wisdom is dimensional and then number three spiritual understanding so why then do we have believers who love jesus sincere believers serious believers and yet our christian experiences seem to be barren now i'm not just speaking um to this church alone i'm speaking to the body of christ so this this teaching stretches across why do we have people who love jesus with all their hearts and yet their lives is a capture of disappointed experiences that continue to misrepresent the God they so propose. You would not come to anybody in the presence of utter failure. Are we together? No wonder many believers are now beginning to resort to the things we once left. Traditional practices what credence do we have to say stop going there until we can show an alternative with proofs when jesus came watch his manifesto he walked to the people and he told them repent for the kingdom is at hand and he demonstrated the superiority of that kingdom there and then in fact in the account of Luke Luke's synoptic account when you read from verse 4 the Bible says he came into the temple and the scroll of Isaiah that was talking about him was given to him then he began to read the messianic prophecy of Isaiah 61 that the spirit of the Lord is upon me he said for he hath anointed the word anoint means to ordain to authorize an operation to legitimize an operation he has legitimized me to preach glad tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted is that true to set the captives free and when he said all those things he closed it and said this day when this day is this scripture fulfilled that means that theory i have come as an explanation to something about god and he saw a man whose hand was withered and he said stretch your hand it was not just about miracles it was a demonstration of an alternative kingdom that has come superior are we together hear me i've been doing a series with my people that results are also evangelists there is a kind of gospel that only results can preach are we together now yes the territory has been commanded to listen to certain evangelists unfortunately you are not the one the result that comes as a result of the workings of the spirit is also an evangelist and it preaches powerfully you go and ask the people in scripture who had one manifestation of results one result in gadara brought 10 cities in a moment one encounter with the woman at the well brought so many people to jesus jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16 we have a few minutes wherever we stop we'll pray stand ye in the ways he said and see and ask for the old paths that means the secret of tomorrow is in yesterday something about yesterday holds the key to tomorrow 
where is the good way he says and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls but they said we will not walk therein let me talk on a few minutes very very few minutes just a charge really are we together now yes i'm teaching tonight on the power of spiritual patterns the power of spiritual patterns therein lies the keys that command consistent ever increasing supernatural results that are able to number one bring glory to the name of jesus and number two bring honor to the saints you have to realize that there is a dimension of kingdom advance that depends on the results of the saints if your pastor and his dear wife did not have results believe me in addition to your love for him you most likely would come here discouraged i saw all of you motivated and jumping and rejoicing you know why two reasons one because you sincerely love your pastor and his wife but two because your eyes i was listening to the song of my dear people the worship team and they were singing so boldly results emboldened because they know they are not lying the greatest way to market is to tell the truth is that true Leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6. Thank you, Jesus. Please read with me if you can see it projected. Ready? One, two, read. And Moses said, uh huh, this is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do. Uh huh, and the glory of the Lord shall appear. One more time, please. The glory of the Lord is a capture of everything that makes him God. Comes from the Hebrew word kabod, the Greek is doxa. The essence is the weightiness of a thing. That means for you to know the glory of a thing, you have to explore everything that makes that thing wonderful. The glory of a phone, we have to vet the glory of that phone by checking the features and the abilities are we together so the glory of god is a representation of everything that makes god god his goodness his power his wisdom everything and he says that if you desire to see the glory of god appear it's always been there but if you want to see it appear there is a protocol to experiencing the glory of God manifesting as wisdom manifesting as prosperity signs and wonders influence etc now most believers listen carefully most believers know what they want but they do not know what it takes the kingdom mysteries connecting desires to manifestation this is where there is a gap of ignorance in the body of Christ so there are all kinds of beliefs in the body of christ don't worry one day god will do it don't worry one day things will work out well i don't have all the time i would have shown you from genesis chapter 4 when you read from verse 1 to 7 just write it for reference the bible talks about two brothers there cain and abel the first manifestation of the power of spiritual patterns that we see the intent was to offer up sacrifices is that true and they demanded a response from god and two of them had the liberty to explore their strategy as to how they wanted the presence and the glory of god to come the bible says cain did his thing and abel did his thing and the bible says your bible says god had respect for the sacrifice of abel the glory of the Lord came upon that sacrifice and Cain was wrought. Let's go to verse 6 and 7 for sake of time. The Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? Why art thou angry? Why is thy countenance fallen? Read verse 7 with me, please. If thou doest well, shall... Hold on, just stop there. This is a very powerful statement. 
he's saying i did not receive it because it came from abel i received it because i saw compliance to patterns are we together now for running every manifestation of the glory of god are spiritual mysteries called patterns let me tell you what patterns are patterns are defined spiritual pathways a pattern is a spiritual modus operandi a predefined formula for obtaining certain results patterns guarantee consistency of results are we together yes let me give you a quick example do we have any architect here anyone at all any architect beautiful sir let me ask you a question is it possible to reproduce this beautiful building anywhere in the world is that true do you have to carry the building can you put this in uk can you reproduce this in us what do you need you don't have to carry the building walking out with it you can reproduce this building with digital precision to a point that if they blindfold you now and carry you to the other building you will think you are still here that is the power of patterns so when believers are not able to capture results number one it is not location number two it is not civilization all of the flimsy excuse that continue to justify failure and mediocrity are not it at all the one explanation as to why the christian experience of many believers remain barren and a plethora of frustrations is because we have not sustained the intelligence to understand patterns there is a pattern for salvation is that true question let me use one person for example is it possible sir let me use you are you saved don't be embarrassed my apologies are you saved how are we sure this man is saved what are we going to use to verify his salvation we will have to vet what pattern you followed to be saved is that true because it's not written on him so if you tell me you are saved I will go further to say how were you saved then my ears and my spirit is attentive to John chapter to Romans 8 10 from verse 8 to 10 is that true if you tell me you confess the Lordship of Jesus you believed in your heart then I know that you have worked in keeping with that pattern any other explanation you give me I have a right based on my knowledge of the pattern for salvation to say you are not saved do you agree with me please sit sir the Bible is a compendium of different expectations alongside the spiritual patterns that lead to them. So, whether it is empowerment, whether it is increase, whether it is speed, whether it is restoration, whether it is influence, whether it is impact, whether it is resurrection. Do you know why the Bible has a lot of stories? Because he did in those stories, if you have the eyes that see, it is more than a story why do we listen to testimonies we already know the end result but why do we allow the people narrate it because we are not only studying results we are getting familiar with what patterns are we together now yes so a medical doctor six or seven years before he's been conferred with the degree is a naive individual with only a desire and he's taken to an institution that is the authorized body that dispenses the patterns that individual is not yet sure if he will be a doctor but then he just knows that i have the zeal and every day every week week becomes months months become years is that true and he gets to a point in that practice where there is no return even before he is done they can begin to call him a doctor because practically there is nothing left he exhausts an exact body of truth and at the end when vetted by the university they call him doctor his size did not change his voice did not change his appearance did not change what changed he was given certain things so when the doctor is talking to you and he says narrate your problems while you are rambling and shouting he's not looking for your stories there are patterns 
he can know with precision that this is malaria and he can write the drug and not have to see you again and he's sure come back after three days if for any reason he misses it he can say oh that continuation of the trouble is also a symptom of something bigger and he can check it if you pay attention to what I'm teaching you tonight you will rise to a level of mastery in the spirit that you will marvel and wonder at your results first and foremost do not let anyone downplay the importance of results in your Christian experience results are a consolation to you the believer and then it equips you with with the potency to preach Jesus preaching a barren Jesus will lead you to frustration our world is too busy too wicked and too selfish to pay attention to any message that does not have proof by its side are we together in Acts chapter 4 when the, the disciples were called at the Jerusalem council the man who had been healed at Gate beautiful was standing before them and they wanted to punish the disciples but they said, what can, hey, this is a notable miracle standing before us what then do we say about it patterns are prescribed spiritual pathways for obtaining results can I tell you sincerely anytime you see consistent predictable results it is no longer by luck there is a spiritual pattern when God wants to give you a blessing he does not give you physical things when God wants to truly honor you, he grants you access to high level spiritual illumination so that you will find the patterns. And when you find it, you can rejoice even in the midst of nothing because you have found what brings everything. May someone find something tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, we live in a world that has no respect for the sacrifices of men as far as finding patterns is concerned. Do you know why we honor men? We don't honor men just because of them. We honor the sacrifice of the spiritual investment, the stamina, the staying power, the pain, the blood, that they stayed there, the endurance until they found the patterns. When they found it, they brought it out and now give it free. This is what your man of God does. You see that now. So when you celebrate a man of God, it's not human worship. The Bible says, let them that rule well be counted for double honor. Unfortunately, we live in a world where when you see predictable, ever increasing results, we say things like, he is lucky. They are lucky. He's just God. Are we together? Everybody can run, but nobody wins by mistake. You don't need skill for performance. You just need passion. But for winning and for victory, he says, he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully. For someone, God brought you to this meeting tonight to open you up to see that it is not that God is unfaithful. Desire is important, but it's not the only key for victory. Proverbs 18 and verse 1, through desire, a man having separated himself, desire brings you to that point of separation, but it says that you intermeddleth with all wisdom. Are we blessed? Hear me. You want to produce results in your life? It is not by luck. There are keys of the kingdom. They are called patterns. Called patterns. We are not the first to use them. Many have used them and subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, shot the mouth of lions. Women received their dead back to life. They went to heaven, but they left the patterns. Hidden in archives that only meekness and the help of the spirit can unveil. Can I tell you this? This Bible you see is a compendium of spiritual patterns, but it takes more than an educated mind to see it. Isaiah 29. Let me show you something. 
verse 11. Your name is to be hallowed. Look up, please. And the vision of all is become unto you like the words of a book that is sealed. Notice what is wrong with the book. The book is what? Sealed. Not closed, sealed. Which men deliver to one who is learned or educated, saying, Read this, I pray thee. What is his response? I cannot read it. Why? It is open, but it is sealed. Just because you open it does not mean you are seeing anything there. There is a seal. Next verse, verse 12. And the book is also delivered to him who is not learned. He said, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, I'm not even educated in the first place. There is a realm where both the educated and the uneducated stand helpless until the seal is broken. Many of you have been carrying a book that is opened, but whose scrolls are not unlocked. So he says, open down my eyes that I may behold. He was not, he was not a blind man praying that prayer said what seest thou and he said the rod of an almond tree he said you have seen correctly are we together now please hear me world over everywhere you see unusual dimensions of results in this kingdom they are products of interacting with a realm that is outside of this three-dimensional realm whether it is demonic or it is godly there is a limitation to what the three-dimensional realm can deliver. The moment you see unusual results, it is safe to suspect the producer of that results. Either that he has had an encounter with Jesus or he has had an encounter with something that is not human. But there are results that cannot be produced by humans. Is someone learning? genuine salvation has a spiritual pattern that is why everybody in the world can be saved regardless the tribe i don't need to learn english or Igbo or yoruba or french to be saved with my own language once i subscribe to the pattern i can be saved there is a pattern for spiritual growth you don't just grow arbitrarily no you can know you are growing and you can know you are not growing not by guesswork by following the patterns is that true there are indices we look out for you cannot give birth to a child and start flogging the child from that night and say what kind of a child are you it's 12 hours and you are not walking no because there is a law called the law of process the law of process demands that patience be given to you but after two years if the child does not walk something is wrong is that true it is safe to go to the doctor now and find out because that child's not working after two years is violating a pattern are we together we respect patterns so much we have built institutions to identify them we call them hospitals we call them law courts these are all institutions that help to to keep patterns when someone becomes rich and not by honor not by grace not by labor you can take the person to court and there is a prison where those who try to compromise on patterns are kept do you agree with me an ambroba why does an ambroba point a gun at you and you give to the ambroba and yet you still want the ambroba arrested you gave but what was wrong with that kind of giving <laughs> are we together would you say you were a giver in the presence of that arm robber but something left you to him so what then is giving is it really the act of releasing something are you seeing the reason why many people give and give and give and nothing happens that's for another day I'm just showing you that there is a pattern because both Cain and Abel gave 
one thing common between two of them is there was a giving there are spiritual patterns that control wealth and abundance this wealth and abundance that has become a serious issue two dimensions to it there are those who trivialize it and say it doesn't matter I wish you a safe journey you just live long enough you will find out the importance of wealth and abundance to the overall journey of the believer then there are those who are obsessed about it and Jesus is defamed and diminished with respect to their passion to having it and the tragedy is that both will not get it the miraculous is governed by patterns the testimonies that you enjoy in this church you see one thing with mastery is that the 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 thing about mastery is that because the laws have been mastered the execution looks so flawless it would take the eyes of the spirit to see what rules are being kept is that true but believe me if you watch a professional drive he can be driving and before you know it he's done more than 10 things and yet you didn't see it because of you can see a learner struggling step one step two but when you watch a professional he can be talking he himself can forget what he's doing yet he still did it the car was not designed to respect him the car was designed to respect patterns the car does not care whether it was a male and female a nigerian or an australian that drives it the car was not built to respect men it was built to respect if a sincere person holds the steering wrong it will still enter the ditch because the car was not built on emotions it was built on patterns please pay attention to what i'm showing you because the spirit of god is going to be speaking to you you'll be seeing why look at the gaps in my christian experience tonight is a night of honesty to open up your heart not to condemn yourself but to say look my life has got to produce results I can tell you results are preachers they can preach a message like no other are we together and we're living in days when the world is tired of a theoretical Jesus the world is tired and frustrated because Satan is marketing and pushing options options When you say God now world over it means many things so there has to be a people who will give credence and definitions to that name that's why I sang that song there must be a people who can show the possibilities that are captured in this faith life in a way that is consistent and ever increasing here's how the Bible puts it John chapter 15 and verse 8 he said herein is my father glorified when ye bear much fruit everybody say much fruit god does not want scanty amateur results that cannot be reproduced so you uh, you come for a meeting as a man of god and somehow you know the sick were healed even you you can't tell what happened and in the next meeting it looks like you're a herbalist you are not sure of what happened again then another meeting sinners are saved then another meeting after that you see the place you can discern that there are unbelievers and you finish preaching and you are almost crying because nobody comes out for an altar call listen we must move past the realm of guessing there is a lot of ignorance and uncoordinated knowledge in the body of Christ so you find out that if an average believer is plagued with a situation that average believer cannot even defend the pathway he will follow to victory he will do things like prayer obviously he will do things like fasting he will do things like sowing a seed he will do things like touching and agreeing the blood of jesus he does not know which one leads to what so the danger is that one of them will walk but you cannot help others rise because you are not even sure of what you did okay so if this man says i was healed can you reproduce that same result that is how to be a blessing are we together job 38 and verse 33 god asked job a question that he's asking us tonight 
are you ready one to read please knowest thou the ordinances of heaven that's question one don't rush the question this is god asking job do you know the ordinances of heaven you know what the ordinances are the rules that regulate heaven that makes heaven the way it is question two it says can thou set the dominion thereof in the earth that means can you reproduce it Job, don't you think heaven is just heaven? There are rules. There are patterns. Listen, when Lucifer rebelled, God never got up from his throne, yet rebellion was, was judged. What pattern is that? When you understand that pattern, you can be a leader and right from where you are. Rebellion can be judged without you coming there. Do you know the pattern? Listen, the pattern was captured in the Lord's prayer. Thy kingdom come. Thy... Is, it, is it not in your Bible? Hmm. What is it about heaven that does not go old? What is it about the organization in heaven? Satan is not there yet. There is order. There are doors. There are gates. Everybody does not just walk into the throne room and walk out. No. The Bible gives us a description. And here he's asking Job. He's saying, Job, in an attempt to help you understand your predicament, do you know the ordinances of heaven? And canst thou establish the dominion thereof on earth? Our fathers who have joined the cloud of witnesses today, they spent their life shouting it. Earth, I have found something that controls healing. We ignore them. I have found something that controls prosperity. Isaiah 51 from verse 1 and 2. God himself recommends certain personalities that embody his possibilities. Let me tell you how God works. When a man enters a covenant with God and excels in his compliance, God now personifies that person to become an embodiment of his, that dimension of him. That means every time you want to, to get that dimension, he refers you to that person. So he calls himself the God of Abraham. The God of Abraham does not work like the God of Isaac. It's the same God. The God of Isaac does not work like the God of Jacob. <clears throat> Are you learning something tonight? Verse 2, read with me. One to read. Look unto Abraham, your father, and to Sarah that bare you. For I called him. Stop, stop. Why did he put a loan there? He's teaching you something. He's saying, this is my idea of a blessed man. Study him and start from when he was alone. I didn't call him with anything attached to his life. And then I blessed him. And then I did not stop at blessing him. I increased him. So a blessed man still needs increase. Are you learning now that means if I want to become prosperous and I say God prosper me he tells you go back to the patterns I have even helped you by personifying individuals who make it easy because men are also scriptures the Bible calls us living epistles you can walk with God in a way that if someone forgot to do his devotion in the morning he does not feel bad when he sees you you become a continuation of his Bible study your life is literally a spiritual project are we together your assignment is to use your lifetime and work with God so that you yourself can now become a reference. That if God has been trying to explain something to a man and he does not understand, he can tell him, come to streams of joy. Sit quietly and watch. In that watching, he can say, oh, so this is what you are talking about. Hear me? In God's dealing with men, we are not given the liberty to invent our ways. Hear me. When you are working with God, creativity is not required. 
is when you are now walking in dominion it is dominion that needs creativity not followership followership needs alignment and yieldedness and obedience the path is already created you don't invent it follow them he says who through faith and patience have obtained have obtained time will fail me it says to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak you are not the first to come listen listen the Bible says the things that are written are for time they are for our learning so that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope so if you came from a poor family with your parents as idol worshippers the Bible says find comfort go to scripture and check who is similar with your pattern go and read about Esther go and read about Gideon what took a village girl from Shushan and she became the one who sat over 127 provinces Esther judged evil and never held a sword find out man of God you are not the first to be called into ministry and you are not the first to have failure in ministry Go and read the Bible and see that the apostles, when they were disciples, they tried doing ministry and they were frustrated. The Bible does not hide their frustration. They came to Jesus and said, why couldn't we do this? Even his disciples couldn't do this. And Jesus gave them an answer. Study the answer. There is a pattern in that answer that can take away barrenness from ministry out of your life. What was the difference between one person who could not cast out demons and now his shadow? I'm here by the Spirit tonight that God will open our eyes and that this seal be unlocked and you will step into a level of wonder. You want to become an influence? Hear me, my dear people, you know this, that there is a mystery behind rising. You don't just rise like that. Our world is a selfish world. People are busy minding their business. Whatever will make them turn and focus on you must be a mystery. Can I tell you this? Nobody has the time to spend the rest of his life paying attention to you and your agenda. They also have their plans. Whatever makes them to pay attention to you must be a mystery. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. wrapping up I told you I just came to do a charge tonight so that we'll pray listen you only succeed in this kingdom when you build according to pattern let me show you a few scriptures that help you the patterns of God guarantee two things please write if you're writing number one the patterns of God guarantee the glory of God. Let's look at Exodus chapter 40. Exodus chapter 40 for the sake of time. In fact, just, just be patient. Let's, let's look at Exodus 25. We'll look at verse 9 and then we'll look at 40. Please sit if you can for a minute. I'm sure you can't even remember you were standing. Exodus 25 from verse 9. Look up please. It says, according to all that I show you, read with me, after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments, it says, even so shall thou make it. Is it in your Bible? Go to verse 40, please. Go to verse 40. It says, and 40, yes. And look that thou make them after their pattern which was shown thee on the mount that means when they wanted to make a heavenly tabernacle god said if it is me that you want to dwell there you must reproduce my habitation there you see there's no time i would have taught you why satan calls men his house 
and God too calls men his house you remember in the Bible there's still two of them called men their house what is it about men that qualifies to be a house to both God and Satan are we together I share the burden of your pastor and I pray all over the globe are you praying just in a minute or two Lord I desire fruits results consistency I love you more than results I love you more than miracles I love you more than prosperity but I'm in a season in my Christian experience where I need a consolation to my Christian experience tired of talking about a God who cannot be defended by my results please go ahead and pray do not allow your environment to keep asking who is this God who is Jesus I hear he can work miracles where is he today I hear he can raise the dead where is he today I hear he can bring increase pray who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle Jesus the son of the living God I join faith with the angel over this house and I decree and declare every spiritual veil over your eyes that is stopping you from seeing and accessing higher and superior levels of light the same God that opened the eyes of his servant and showed him things I stretch my hand in the name of Jesus may that grace for open eyes rest upon you now I decree and declare let the book be opened and let the seals be unlocked in the name of Jesus Christ access light by the spirit access wisdom by the spirit access understanding by the spirit gain mastery in the kingdom gain mastery in the spirit in the name of jesus christ hear me the version of you that god is looking for in this season may you evolve through light to that fashion in the name of jesus christ and everything that represents barrenness in your Christian experience. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. And in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare. Everything representing barrenness, it dies now in the name of Jesus. Hear me? Many of you after tonight, and in addition to all the graces you have received, you will start having definite encounters from tonight where God will open you up and bring you to a point of mastery let that be so in the name of Jesus and alongside with every prophetic word 
that you have received all through this conference from the servants of the living God and the angel over your house, your father, I decree and declare, agreeing in faith with them, that this is the season of your appearing. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord bless you, the Lord increase. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.